Uh, other than that, let me double check. I don't. There are some more specific things um, that I'll probably cover as we go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's that would be that would be easiest. So we don't spend a whole lot of time doing explaining. I can just if it comes up, I can explain it. Yeah. Yeah, I got to go in half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we'll figure it out. Better be fast. Better be better be fast hobbits. Uh... Yeah. Okay, so I know Watts. I think you've already picked a character. I did. Yeah, I think you picked the rogue. Well, I said it. Correct? Just, yes. Yes. All right. So I think I have assigned you to that character on roll 20. I think you should be able to access that database tab. And you should be able to see a character by the name of Cheldrick Boffin. Oh, yeah. I see Cheldrick Boffin. That is you. <laughs> I was like, who's this nerd is over there? All right. So you should be able to click on Cheldrick Boffin's name. It should pull up the character sheet. Yeah. I do and have You'll see all sheet. your information there. Wow. That's a awesome. lot of stuff. How do I pick a character? Yep. You have to... <laughs> All right, so Mylan. The remaining yes. characters to choose from, okay? Yep. You can what do pick... I see You didn't even read the Berserk and the Fanny comment that was a good God, no, I thought it was. I thought it was clever. It you was didn't read clever. it. <laughs> so the, the, remaining, the remaining classes, okay, are a bard, like the one you just saw, Basically, they can sing I, songs. Can I look at them somewhere? Can I look at them in the uh, in Roll Twenty or no? In the Discord. In the Discord, I have a list of the, the available classes that are that are remaining. Oh, I'll copy that. In the in the Discord DM. Mm -hmm. Yep. Bard, druid. So bard is a mild spellcaster, mild martial combat. Your personal favorite. Yep. So bard's big thing. Uh, you saw bardic inspiration. Uh, their big thing is the ability to buff allies. So you could give that bardic inspiration to somebody else, and basically what it lets them do is roll a dice and add the number of that rolled on that dice to any roll that they make. Doesn't really sound like me, to be honest. I didn't think so. I'll tell you what does sound like you, Mylan. Barbarian. Hi. <laughs> Heavy focus on martial combat. I am a martial artist, correct? Mylan, pick this if you want to berserk the fanny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so basically the big thing for barbarians is their rage ability uh basically it's beginning yeah, okay, combat yeah, you have a certain yeah, amount yeah. of times that you can do it uh before needing to rest you can rage and you take basically you take half damage uh you get advantage on roles related to uh strength and dexterity uh, you just yeah. deal more damage generally, so you just that get really me. effing I'm big mad. Big DPS kind of player, yeah, always basically. putting out top numbers. Big Ooh. rage. You can take that's the most it, damage. That's, that's big rage. Basically, <laughs> just say I want to berserk the fanny at the start of every combat, and yeah, you're rage. okay, I'm, I'm there in. Yeah. yeah so what? What's is a rogue, I'm a rogue. for sneaking a hunter? Sneaky. I'm gonna be barbarian. Okay. Yep. Then. And That's I'm a... going to let Coyote and Wolf pick their characters because they know what they're looking for. Hey, Coyote, Wolf, you, you go, go first. first. Okay, Wolf, go first. Nah, Coyote, you go first. I'll, I'll fail. Well, one of you pick, damn it. <laughs> well, one of you is... Okay, Coyote, you go. I'll what do you want? i Druid. Druid? Why do you seem so upset by that? <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to pick the druid. <laughs> you need a druid? I, mean, I was going to pick the druid if you don't want to be the druid. Oh, you two. Well, I'm going to fucking no pop a cup boat you. here. So. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Listen. I understand. I had to pick six the classes. Sorcery, I no rolled a dice and then picked a bard anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are you, what are you having, um, Wolf? Hmm. I need to actually think now because I, would... <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I think we see what we've got a rogue, we've got a barbarian, we've got a druid. Um, I think I'll go monk in that case. I was thinking wow. you're 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 kind of you're a monk kind of dude. I think. You're you're. Mm -hmm. All right, like, all right. Like, artist. Few words, lots of wisdom. Don't know about well, the wisdom part. But depends right. what kind of monk it is, Smiley. Depends on what kind of monk it is. Might be the punchy punchy monk. It is in fact the punchy punchy monk. 
Punch, punch, punch. Okay, well, that's my favorite kind of monk. <laughs> <laughs> I figured, Mylan, you would either pick monk or barbarian, but barbarian leaning pretty hard on that one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we've got a cat. Now, do I click something in roll 20? Or yeah, what? so now that you've picked, I just assigned each of you your characters. You should be able to click that database tab. Yes. And you that? should be able to see your character. The database tab is the third one the journal. on the left. The one where the, one the PDF looks like a newspaper. Is yeah, looks like a newspaper. Tobias Burrow. Hey, Tobias is here. Let's go. Oh, I'm a cat. <laughs> you, are, you are a cat. No, he's just really angry. <laughs> Angry boy Tobias. That is a big sheet. Do I zoom in? What do I do here? You can scroll it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you can scroll it. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right. Okay. Hell yeah, brother. This is cool. All right. So if we've all look, taking a look at our character sheets. I'm looking at it. Yep. We should be. I'm ready to roll. Ready to I'm go. I'm basically ready. Hell oh, we're yeah. We're not going to get okay. more ready. So Yeah, we're not going to get more ready. <laughs> so let's just let's hey. just go ahead and start. Hey, hold on a second. Why do I have negative one intelligence? Because you're <laughs> dumb. Because <laughs> you're an idiot. Huh? Oh, I got huge <laughs> hit points, though. 35 <laughs> hit points. Man, how the fuck is hit points? How many hit points do you have, Wads? 38. Dumbass. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to oh, berserk. <laughs> Tobias not talk so much good. <laughs> well, it's already getting a character. Wait, I must read my ideals so I can get into character. Yeah, feel free to read those. You don't have to get into character. We're here for the we're here for the mechanical formulas. I suppose um, I'm God, I, I clicked on bio and there's just there's no words here. It's just an angry. You, just you an think angry. your character knows how to write? <laughs> Mine, you, didn't your, you didn't get your get your pen license. <laughs> you're huh? lucky you're here, to be honest. You ain't got a license for that. <laughs> Sorry, it's license. It Hit points bigger than brain points. Copy that. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm All right. ready. So without further ado, go ahead and start. How? Get all the spell <laughs> quickly. Yes. Um, well, my dude only has three proficiencies. Do, should I just pick another one? From uh, yeah. From if, if something's missing, go ahead. All right, cool. I, I trusted I trust you and Coyote with the uh, more complex classes. So if you guys see anything is missing, go right ahead. All right. So you should find yourself now in a forest. I'm in a forest. I'm I'm in. I'm in. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> is this is this Mylan, the angry looking guy? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm the angry. Right. The... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one are you? The top left? No, I'm next to you. I'm oh. this is what? Coffin. Keldrick. Yeah, we got freaking Ed from Full Metal Alchemist stuff in here. I thought that looked like it. That's what I thought too. <laughs> these, these, I didn't draw these. So I just picked him. <laughs> I was like, damn, that's Ed from Full Metal Alchemist. It is. All right. So, here we are. Of course, no good D&D &D session is good without music. Okay. I'm playing Hobbit music. I can't hear anything. That's what I was listening to. <laughs> Welcome to the small, tranquil hobbit town of Rutherglen. It's a small, humble town that has remained out of most of the world's problems. Word might have come in about large battles between elves and dwarves on the other side of the continent, but that has never bothered the likes of you. War has never reached this far east. 
you all enjoy a life of relative comfort. Each of you have received a letter in the mail from Mayor Brownlock. He seemed to have taken a shine to you after you've been clearing basement rats and fighting off wild animals. It seems jobless bum hobbits get to do all the dirty work around town. The letter you've received reads, My wonderful friends, thank you so much for all you have done for Rutherglen and for what you will continue to do. And thank you in advance for agreeing to take care of this small favor for me. You see, my older brother's home has been abandoned for quite some time since his unfortunate passing, and we need more space for people here in town. However, I'm sure some rather nasty creatures have moved in since his passing. If you could go inside and deal with them before I send in the inspectors to help barter off his belongings... I would appreciate it. Oh, and please do be thorough. I want the place spotless before we arrive later in the evening. I would hate to tell everyone that you've generously offered up your early, yearly portions of second breakfast. Sincerely, Mayor Brownlock. As you approach a portion of town that you haven't really been to in months, Sheriff Bildad Goodwart has taken the courtesy of escorting you on his pony-drawn cart here. The cart comes to a gentle stop outside. Tall white oaks spread apart into the vast canopies of green all around you. The oaks sprout up in a natural wall of sorts, forcing you in a singular direction. Looking back, you can barely make out the rest of Rutherglen down the pathway. In front of you is a quaint-looking hobbit hole with a navy blue door in typical halfling fashion. The approach to your destination, Lockheed Hill, is exposed to the open sky, and while the cobblestone hasn't seen its share of foot traffic in a good few months, it seems to have kept the weeds away to a rather impressive degree. So as the cart comes to a stop, you all hop out, kind of spread out, you know, relatively close and the sheriff kind of clears his throat for a second and says well we're here I've uh sure you all know what to do do you know what to do shoot him uh (laughs) Me, me, Mama. Tobias, angry, pat pony. <laughs> Are you going to pat the pony? Pat the pony. Okay, roll an animal head leak check. <laughs> okay, now what do I have to do? Okay, so if you see the chat, uh, if you go to the chat window in the top oh, uh, top left oh, of can that. Can you turn the music down a tiny bit? Yeah, my bad, my bad. It's, uh, Is it, it's probably okay, chat window. Oh, yeah, I see it. Okay. All right, so you should be able to type slash roll. Oh, into the chat? Into the chat? Yes. Slash roll space 1d20. Hold on. Slash. I'm going to jump in real quick. If you click on animal handling on your character sheet, it'll do it automatically. That's true. Oh, Oh, what? I have animal handling on my character sheet. Okay, where do I look? It should be the second on the list of skills. Skills are on the left-hand side. I don't know if I'm good at animal handling. What's your? How much do you have? One. I also have one. Okay. We should have made the. So I came up in chat. Oh, sixteen, God. ten. What does that mean? All right. So sixteen is bold. Did it roll with advantage? That's weird. It always defaults to. That's weird. We're gonna ignore that. <laughs> Just take the first one. On We're gonna ignore that. We're gonna take the first one. Okay. Um, so I rolled a sixteen. Yeah, is that so you correct? You rolled a sixteen. That is correct. So you basically that is a 15 plus your one. Mm, makes sense. Okay. So Where's yeah, so, my 15? So Tobias, you um you you All right. kind of scuttle up to the horse. And this is this isn't a oh. pony. This is a horse. Oh, oh, oh. Well, hold on, let's break break character for a second. So I okay. roll a 15 <laughs> and I get the plus one because of the animal handling, like on yes. my stat sheet. Yes. 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 So if you hover over and... the 16 in the chat. Oh, you can hover over. Oh, it tells you 15 plus huh. one. Yep. 
Okay. Oh, I got the plus one from wisdom. Oh, yes. yeah, because you can't quite see it. It's cutting. Okay, so my wisdom's one. I'm getting it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> see, I told I, you it's easy once you, you start yeah. playing. Okay, but I don't know what I needed to roll to have like a positive or negative outcome. Like no, that's you what you're going to do that. now. That is a is that thing right? with that okay. I decide. <laughs> okay, and do you have like a sheet that you're doing or are you just making it up? Mostly yeah, making it up. Dead. The horse is dead. Okay, copy that. Yeah, so Tobias. Okay, what, you... what, what's, the, what's the highest What's the highest score I could have got? It's a 20, uh, so 21. Yeah, 21. Yes. Yep. So 16 is like, like a 16 is pretty, pretty good. high score then. Okay. And that's your role to make it up as you go along. Yeah, basically. And basically, if it's higher score, like, is a better outcome? If it's lower score, worse outcome? Yeah, basically. Generally. Okay. okay. Re resume uh, me pad the pony <laughs> all right so tobias you 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 kind of you kind of shuffle over to the horse and like i said this is this is not a pony this is a full-sized horse on this cart you said so, it was a pony dog listen i said pony cart <laughs> pony i'm just, I'm just okay. trying to swap words out to sound fancy okay okay copy. so you, you 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 waddle over there and give the, give it a nice pat on the on the knee, because Lord knows you can't reach high enough to actually pet it. That's true. You're short. And pony kind of looks down at you, and it kind of lowers its head for mm -hmm. you to pet its head. Yes. And the sheriff kind of looks at all of you. Kind of says, "Well, <clears throat> it's a real shame what happened to this place. I was a good friend with a." Uh, from Brownlock, he, uh, threw a good number of parties here uh, back when he was still kicking around. Uh, I'm sure a whole bunch of undesirables have moved in, but I'm well. You've you've all proven yourself more than capable of handling rats before, so I um Say, I trust you from the else. From the outside, it looks quite splendid, I must say. Oh, yeah. It's, uh... Griffin was always... How should I put it? He was a fan of... Well, showing off. That's too bright out here, can, if you can, ask I, can, I, can I break character for a second? Go for it. <laughs> so, is, is it just a free-for-all? Like, when you're getting a bit of dialogue and the Dungeon Master, can we jump in at any time? Is it like, is there an order to what people have to go in? No, or this is, this is, is basically just like... us just talking in character. You can jump in if you really want to. Okay. Okay, okay Tobias Borrow Pony, Ride War Pony now. <laughs> the, sh the sheriff kind of looks at you. <laughs> like, he's, you know, he's like a good three or four feet above you because he's up on the cart still. And he's just, I'm going to need this to get back to town, mm. son. This is where I apologize for Tobias being special. Oh, I've, I've heard rumors around town about him. So. He's, he's just so friendly. He, he, want, he wants to be friends with everyone, you see. Oh, yeah, well, he does seem friendly. Um, besides, I don't think the horse could fit in in Griffin's old place. So, yeah, I gotta cut the legs off a bit. Oh, oh okay, all right. I think Let's I'm gonna head on I'm into town. No, no, that we don't want to hurt the the horse. I, I think I'm gonna head on into town. Um, Come to buy. Okay. To buy we'll find you another pony. <laughs> Thank you. The mayor told me. You know what? You know what makes the boys fucking mad? No pony. Let's go take out these rats. <laughs> Um, as I, I so I assume y'all are gonna start walking towards um yeah towards me. the house to the north. Uh, so as y'all start walking away, the sheriff calls out. Um, the mayor wanted me to let you know he'd be swinging by uh with the inspectors around four o'clock. So you've got a good good few hours until then. And break character for the, so what's the deal with moving? Can we just move wherever we want? You can what? move your character anywhere you want. Uh, okay, there's not you have to roll or anything. You just nope. just infinite, infinite. Yeah, uh, what's so, the whole twenty? What's the speed thing you're talking so about? So we're involved? outside of combat right now, so yeah. we're just gonna oh. ignore the speed thing. We can have okay. Well, I'm okay. Well, I'm patting the, the pony horse. a little bit. All right. Okay, I'm patting the okay. pony. Get okay, pony. Okay, all, right, all right, I'm ready. He's touching the horse. <laughs> Tell him to get away from the horse. I touch the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Copy that. All right, so <laughs> the um, 
Yeah, right. So you all start heading out, and um, he 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 calls out to you. Oh, oh, before before I forget, yes. um, and he, he digs into his bag, um, to the to, on his hip, and he, he pulls out this large iron key. He's Ooh. like, "You're probably going to need this. The place is locked up, has been for a while." And he uh, tosses, uh, I think that's um. Sheldrick there? Yes, Sheldrick, master of keys. Yes, he will master toss Sheldrick the, this, this large iron key. Like, in human hands, this thing uh, would probably cover your entire palm. Uh, Tobias goes to intercept the catch. <laughs> okay, make a... Um, <laughs> that would probably be a sleight of hand check. A sleight okay, of hand check? You want a 1v1 sleight of hand with so, me, Violet? So, uh, Cheltrick, are you going to try like to, like... Sorry, Tobias. Yeah. Cheltrick, are you going to try and uh, catch it before him? Yes. Okay, so this will be contested sleight of hand checks. So, Mylan, you okay. roll, okay. and Cheltrick, uh, you roll. Okay. So I'm doing roll 1d20. Uh, you should be able to click on sleight of hand in your character sheet. Oh, click on sleight of hand in the um, skills. One moment. All right. Okay, so Tobias oh. rolled an 11, and Cheldrick rolled a 12. So basically what happens is the key, you know, gets in the air, and Tobias, you, you reach out for it, and this heavy iron key, you weren't even thinking about how heavy this thing was probably going to be. You reach out for it, and midair, the key smacks your hand. And it kind of bounces off of it. And Cheldrick standing behind you catches it. Copy that. Nice try, Tobias. The end! Oh, why'd you throw that key so hard? <laughs> I apologize. It's a bit hefty. I wanted to make sure it reached where I was throwing it. It was aimed at me, Tobias. This is why you shouldn't touch things you're not supposed to touch. Hey. All right. So as y'all are probably start heading towards the the door, the pony cart is going to start going back down the road, back into town. Bye, pony. And <laughs> as as we approach the entrance, it it does look quite well maintained. But can I see any signs of like foot traffic or anything to indicate there might be beings that have, like come and gone from this place recently? Uh, yeah, sure. Make an investigation check. Oh boy. Oh wow. Hey, okay, eighteen. Okay. So yeah. So, so how did he do? That? How did he click on investigation? Where does that? Investigation sit? is also in. Oh, there. I skills. see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. So um. Well, if you picked, uh, I believe you, <laughs> you picked Fulmar Hornwood, right? The monk. Um. Yes. Okay. So, Fulmar, you're, you're looking around, you're just kind of, like, investigating, because the place is, it's relatively well-maintained. Um, it's, it's still a hobbit hole. This place is still looks very, very nice. It has been a couple of months since, it, you know, uh, since the homeowner Griffin uh, Brownlock passed. Uh, so the place is a little bit, you know, out of it. There are some weeds growing up, there are some, you know, dead grass here and there, but... The place does seem like you you seem to find a a footprint that is go that looks like it's going into the house that looks not super recent but you know for a fact that if no one has been in this house for a couple of months this footprint would not be here Honey rage kick in the front doesn't... door it doesn't seem like there's like there's been a constant back and forth or anything of like people exiting and leaving. You recently. really can only make up this one footprint, uh, but it does seem to be some kind of shuffling of the dirt around here. As far as obvious proof okay. of of life, the footprint is the big thing, but there does seem to be less dirt in some places than other places. Okay. All right. 
I dare say. Well, he's I'm looking sure. for footprints. I want to see if there's any flowers around that I can pick. Okay. Um. So most of the flowers have actually died. Oh. There are some <laughs> wildflowers growing around. There's some like nice dandelions growing up where there probably would not have been. As far as like roses or tulips or anything, those are all dead. Uh, me sad because Pony and Longy here kicks in front door. You're gonna kick the front door. Yep. Okay. Guys, we have a key. No key needed. <laughs> Only foot. <laughs> all right. Uh, Reach my hand out to like wait, and then realize there's no point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Tobias, bake an attack roll on the door. <laughs> attack on the door. Okay, what do I? What so, do I are you you're, you're kicking the door, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, but where do I? Sorry, where do okay, I? Okay, so unarmed is Tobias not. Tobias is it, unarmed is not a thing in the attacks. So this, you would probably just roll a d twenty and add your strength score. Oh, so I can click on strength then. That is okay. So saving throws are different things. Those are for like spells. Uh, but oh, you got proficiency. Okay. You can you click on the proficiency, box. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh. That? No, yeah. I'm changing it, Mark. Uh, up on the, the word. The word strength. Oh, copy. Oh. A nine. You know, for a berserker, you're not very strong. That's not very strong. Yeah, so <laughs> Tobias, you That's you like no good. You kind of you stand up and you like pick your you pick your foot up and like ready to kick this thing just head on, not in like any fanciful way, just straight up kick the door, and you your foot just hits this hard. The door does not budge. Ow, my foot! Can anyone here do first aid on Tobias? Uh, you, you, you don't take any damage, but man, your foot kind of hurts. Damn it! Uh, you do have a key, though. I, I, I have the key. Yeah. Have now, key. Tobias, what have we learned about <laughs> kicking doors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Door hard, kick hurt. <laughs> Use key, please. <laughs> there we go. All right, so y'all are heading inside. The key at work? Yeah. I'm okay. at the front. All right. So I imagine, yeah. So Cheldrick, you're going in first. It's not very sneaky, but I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> so you f now find yourselves. God, I hope I set up the fog of war correctly. Otherwise, this is going to be really sad. <laughs> <laughs> you now find yourselves here. Tell me you can't see anything. Nope. It's yeah, completely it's, it's, it's oh, thank fine. God. Okay, I was gonna be really upset. <laughs> I was gonna be really upset if I didn't set up the fog of war. Tobias is scared of the dark. Help! I'm scared. All right. I can't see anyone. Where are you? So you find yourself in this hallway here. Oh. Chodrick, I imagine you kind of step in and let everybody else follow behind you. Yes. All Open right. the door. Everyone follow behind me. Uh, is there any specific marching order that everyone's going in, or we should send Tobias in first? I'm scared. <laughs> Tobias, the, are the you fear, going in first? The fear, the fear enables his anger, and therefore makes him do more damage. Uh, I'm gonna lash the out anything I see. Perfect. All right, so Tobias is going in ahead of everyone else. <laughs> okay, so you see this long hallway here. Right as you enter, there is a door over here to the left, and there's another door at the end of the hallway. Ooh. Yeah. So you smell this damp must in the air as soon as you open the door. This hobbit hole is unique in a sense, as you can see a stone staircase descending deeper into the hill. As you step down, you can see this hallway spread out before you, a door to the left and a door on the far side closed. There's no light here, other than the streams of sunlight peeking through the curtains by the front door. Are we supposed to be able to see something, by the way? Uh, you should be able to see the hallway. Okay! Oh, Everyone, stay behind me! 
uh, my foot is quite sore still, but I'll kick with my other foot and uh, maybe bite if I need to. You do have those big teeth. Device. Okay, so device, since you're leading, you can choose. You should. You can either choose the door here to the left, or the door left is to bad the luck. right. Follow me. Uh, no, right. there's probably straight away. Right? Or straight away. Sorry, my bad. Straight. We're right. going straight, kids. Are you are you kicking the door or are you just gonna open it? Is that a door? It is a door. Yeah, kick it with Malice. Really All right, you're okay. gonna kick the door. <laughs> All right, kick with Malice. Why do we bring him? Roll, <laughs> roll another strength check, please. Go with that. Strength check. Five. <laughs> Why do we keep the bias around when he is? Nice. Well, he's angry. He's a flick of fear as the wombat. There's a reason he's first. This is the weak what? barbarian. This is gold. <laughs> what? So weak barbarian. <laughs> one damage to the door. What's going on? Oh, see, that's the thing, Mylan. There's no damage to the door. <laughs> <laughs> so you again you, you raise your hand you raise your foot up and you kick the door again, which is that hard thud. Nothing happens. But everyone roll okay. a perception check. Perception. Okay. Under perception are under wisdom. Perception wisdom. is under your skills. And skills. Okay, I'm on it. Perception. Oh there it is. Okay, so we got a seven from Laura. 21 from Tobias, an 8 from Fulmar, and a 20 from Cheldrick. All right, so actually, Tobias and Cheldrick, you hear from the other side of the door, you hear this faint. Ooh. Uh, you can go first. <laughs> it must be a pony. Me. Open the door, Tobias. It's a pony, Tobias. It's a pony. You can pet this one. This pony likes you. Yeah. All right, are you opening the door? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, all right, so you oh, step yeah, inside. Okay. <laughs> and you see this really ornate living room. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> the room you open is a comfortably sized living space. There's a circular table in the center atop what was likely a well-decorated rug now caked in dust and dirt. Two comfortable-looking chairs have been toppled over and torn. An unlit mantle sits against the far wall. And upon opening the creaking door, your presence is immediately noticed, noted, though they seem to have noticed you beforehand, considering the large bang. This is really bad for a sneaky... The character. occupants of this room. There are these disgusting this disgusting sound of ripping flesh has stopped happening as you walk in. And you see from the other side of the table, these hunched over creatures. They're humanoid. Their flesh is rotting. And there are three... Uh, everyone, everyone actually roll an Arcana check for me. Okay. Yes, this, these, are, these are actually the, the very Arch. rare creatures known as chat. Chats? What? Chat? This chat oh. goblins? Chats? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> but not really. Okay, so a 5, 11, 3, and a 7. Okay. Alright, so you see these... <laughs> you, see these you see these things hunched over, though they, they look like they're kind of standing up as you enter. You have never seen anything like this. Though, Cheldrick, you do recognize this as, as some kind of undead creature. Undead, naturally. Yep. Easy to be eaten yep. by device. And as they, as they stand up and, like, see you physically enter the room, everyone roll initiative. <laughs> initiative. So initiative is above your health. Oh, right. Oh, there. Two? All right, big initiative. Also, <laughs> Skitty, you can just delete the one at the entrance. I wasn't able to control it, so I just dragged a new one on. Oh, my bad. Oop. Okay, 
So let's see. We got a a 15, a 19, an 11, and a 4. All right. So does that mean I go last, does it? Uh, we will see. I need to roll for these <laughs> undead creatures. Oh. Oh, is this the order? Is it? Is our initiative? Yes, this is, yeah, so this is basically determining who's going first. The higher the number, the probably the first you'll go. The closer I the first you'll go. Oh, them. God, it's not a pony. I made a mistake. <laughs> it's a type of pony, Spice. You could probably ride them. Huh? <laughs> Okay, so we're just waiting for the them to yeah, roll. Yeah, I need are we? to roll initiative for these bad boys. Hurry up and roll, you dummies! I'm coming. I mean, I'm in. so uh, let me get this straight. I'm I'm, I'm the barbarian. I'm the barbarian that has no strength and no <laughs> initiative. Oh, you have strength. Yeah. You just don't know how to use it. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. It's not in my feet, that's for sure. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's in your hands. I look at your teeth. I feel like your gnashers are going to be pretty uh, pretty mean. You could try yeah, to maybe bite I got something, a jaw. but I'm just going to go ahead them? and tell you, you probably shouldn't bite the zombies. <laughs> probably not a good idea. You can't beat them, join them. All right. I mean, why not? It's just bite them, infect <laughs> them with human. Or with half mm -hmm. Roll. <laughs> Tobias, roll an intelligence check. <laughs> okay. Intelligence, intelligence. Uh, oh, I'm here. Negative one. Go five. 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 Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, you've you've been out in the wild. You've attacked some things before. You've bitten them. They typically don't taste very good raw. Not your favorite way to attack things. But I mean, you, you don't really see any reason you shouldn't, you, you couldn't bite these guys. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Tobias uh, <laughs> Nom Nom. Um. All right. So, um, Tobias, I'm going to have you roll an, just another initiative roll. Okay. That thing. All right. That's pretty. Okay. Pretty good. So. We have turn order. Cheldrick, you are going first. Okay. So you see these three undead creatures. One of most of, or sorry, they're all on the other side of the central table in the center of the room. Uh, they definitely know that you're there. What What are you going to do? I want to shank them. All right. So you're going to run up and stab them with your dagger? Yes. Run All up, right. stab, dagger. So which one of these are you attacking? This one right here? The closest one? or I'm going with the closest one. Uh, it has his back to me. That makes me do quadruple damage. Right. <laughs> yes. Quadruple. Well, he does know you're there, so... No. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will go with the middle, the middle one. Let's okay. Middle All right. One. So basically so roll an attack roll for me. So that is that should be the number next to your dagger in your attacks. Oh, so do I press dagger? I just press the dagger. I think if you press the dagger, it will just Okay. Yep. yep. Dagger. A 13? 13. All right. That does in that that does hit them? So you so you hit them now. Now you roll damage. So click on dagger in the chat now, in that box oh, that it rolled. Uh, seven. Oh, that's cool. Seven damage. Okay, that's so you've cool. done seven damage to this guy. And he has six health. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good try. <laughs> Unfortunately not. He does not have six health. I ran up. I shanked him a little bit. Gave him a little bit of a stabby stab. Saw that the skin is definitely soft enough to be bitten. All right. So you've run up. 
it, you haven't moved very far. So this is the part where I talk about what you can do in combat. So typically in combat, uh, yes. your your turn is broken up into three actions. You have your standard action, which is just like attacking, casting spells. Um, you have your movement action, which is just your movement. And then you have bonus actions, which certain classes have ways they can use those. I think rogues. I think you should be able to bonus action. You can... I think it's disengage. Disengage. Okay, yeah. So basically what disengage lets you do is you get to step away from an enemy without worrying about them like swiping back at you. So if you move past an enemy and they're able to like take a swipe at you, that's what's called an attack of opportunity. So what okay. bonus action disengage lets you do is is move around them or move away from them specifically without worrying about them trying to hit you. It's an iframe. Basically. Just a good old hunter dodge. <laughs> okay, perfect. So you you so you run up or you, so I imagine you're probably going to yeah. disengage. I'm going to do a little twirly to make sure that they can't hit me. They don't seem very smart, so I don't think they can chase me. No, they're not me. very smart. No. Can I ask a quick question? Yes. Because you, you in the background have taken everyone's like initiative scores, right? And then also mm -hmm. like initiative scores of like the zombies. Yes. To like put them in some sort of order. Uh-huh. And like who can attack, is that correct? That is correct. So can... Because, I mean, I wanted to jump over the top and give them a little bit of a chomp chomp, but I didn't know if that's something I could interfere with if, like, the order's already set, right? Yeah, so basically... Basically, you get to go on your turn, um, depending on whether or not the enemies go before you or if your teammates have done things to move the enemies around or maybe they've just outright killed one of them before you get to them. Right. So this is where, like, you can't just sort of jump in as much as, like... Yeah, this is this areas. is where the turns, like, take place. This is where the turns matter. Okay. Okay. Also, have you pulled up the initiative tracker little thing, Skitty, or no? Are you I'm writing them in a notebook. Okay. Okay, so after Cheldrick... Yes. It is Laura in initiative... I didn't. Laura, what are you doing? Who's Laura? Oh, that's me. I believe that is Coyote. <laughs> uh, can, we, can we change our display names to our character names? Yes. Yes. How do we do that? I don't know. So click on the settings thing. The little cog. Oh, Sorry. yeah. Actually, it's just at the bottom of the chat. Oh. Or that, yeah. That. I guess either works, right? Bias. Chell, chell, oh, I did chell, do we? Thank you. There we go. All right, so Laura, what, what are, what will you be doing? Um. Well, there seems to be something up there that. Oh. Oh my. Uh. I'm just gonna cast produce flame at it. Okay. Last time for role playing. <laughs> so that is a thirteen. Wait, no, sorry. What? That's eleven. My bad. It, yes. <laughs> yep. Sorry, it doesn't. It doesn't scroll down automatically for me. <laughs> so eleven. Okay. So, oh, so is that is that Lara's attack? What's Lara again? Uh, uh, Lara is a druid. Druid. Okay, is this like is that's like a normal attack? Is it? Is yeah. Druid so attack? you see, you see Lara like run into the room. And you see her hand, she she kind of like Actually, you know what, Coyote, I'll let I'll let you describe how you cast the spell. If you want. Uh yeah, I just run into the room and then see a thing standing behind there. Cause I, I couldn't see into the room before, so I'm like, oh and just panically kind of fling my hand with the fire in it. Panic flame. Towards it. Yeah. Yeah. Panic flame. Yeah. So you, you see almost like, you know, a solar grenade. Laura runs in, 
Panic throws a grenade, and it goes straight over the ghoul's head and just kind of lands on the ground on the other side and just fizzles out. Does not hit. Uh, whoops. <laughs> okay, is that... Is I hope that, I didn't burn anything too bad in here. Is that everything that you're going to be doing, or...? I, yes. All right. It's a, so after Get back, Laura, Lara. I'm going to handle this. After Laura, Let me show you how a barbarian takes out a whole room. DPS inbound. Is Fulmar. There's a lot of kerfuffle. Can't really see what's going on, so we're going to stroll up. I know there's squatters in here, but you don't have to be so good. Oh my god, they're hideous. He's going to take out <laughs> two little throwing darts and sort of just like dismissively, sort of like waving them away to sort of whoosh, whoosh. Just toss them at this closest one. All right, go ahead and attack. Back, I say, back. <laughs> um, oh, I need to add them to the thing. Hold on. I love how chat has fully taken on the identity of these undead zombies. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so great. <laughs> I need to add that. Like there we go. And check I, would, I would love some kind of system to just name these zombies automatically with somebody in chat. Why isn't yes. Oh, you've killed Warlock 6. Surely you could just have a dice in chat so that people could roll. That is a plugin. And yeah, that's a plugin. Uh, you can sure. do that, yeah. I think I'm going to do that because uh, darts aren't on my sheet yet. Oh, okay. You do not have darts. So that is... Uh, they're in the equipment. Okay, then you should have darts then. If they're not on, if they're not on there, then uh, go ahead and you can pull them out of the database if you want. Yeah, I'm just doing this right now because it's quicker. So yeah, that is a plus seven. Oh, wow. I, I assume that hits. A Huge! Definitely hit. So you you oh, big you're you're throwing the darts, hey. you said, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, Fulmar, you just run in here and you've got these you've got these darts like between your fingers, like in a in a fist. You just you said you just throw them out. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Just kind of sort of flick them. Got it. All in the wrist. Yeah. So yeah. So, so the one um, first. The darts. You you throw them out. Which one are you aiming for? The one in the center. Uh, the one that's closest, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, did you roll damage? Because those definitely hit. E. Five damage. Mm-hmm. I right, mean, yeah, I guess so... it's a dart. It's pretty low damage. Yeah, so <laughs> this, this, like, you see the small, like, it's almost like the size of a pin. Just gets flung at him, and it hits him, like, right in the neck. And it just lodges in there. And it just goes... <laughs> Still kicking. <laughs> Uh, well then, uh, but I, that looks like it. One. It looks like it's not doing as good as it could be doing. And then after Fulmar, unless that, unless you want to do something else with your turn, I've got extra attack, so I'm, okay. I'm throwing another one. The twenty-six to hit definitely hits. I'm slightly better. And then six <laughs> damage. Okay, yeah. So another is this another dart, right? Yeah, just another dart. That's asking what their hit points are. Do we know how many hit points these bad boys got? Uh, That's I will tell you when you've killed them. And also, it's called oh, metagaming. Oh, you can't do that? Chat, you're cringe. <laughs> <laughs> when they die, we can add the numbers together. And then we'll yeah, when you die, add the, the numbers one. together, okay. and then maybe you'll find out. <laughs> yeah, your calculator's out, everybody. Uh, okay, so some things only Dungeon Master knows. Copy yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so you throw out another dart, and it, it lands, again, it's, like, almost like, <laughs> almost like, because you just, you're so adept at throwing these things, you hit the same spot on the neck again, and it's almost like it pushes the other dart out. <laughs> <laughs> and, again, it's, it's, like, almost like it's kind of, like, fumbling on, fumbling over onto the table, it's just... <laughs> This thing you is guys not are so bad good. at DPS, so <laughs> bad. Get get me in there, coach. After Fulmar, so loudly. I'll just look at everyone else. Like, well, I'm not going to run up and touch them. They're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> After Fulmar is the moment we've all been waiting for. Chat goes. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
so this um this one that y'all have been absolutely pummeling, I- I'm gonna name it Warlock. Why not? Warlock is going to jump at this the guy that just did a lot of damage. And is just going That's to a lot of start slashing. Now uh, hold on. I'm sure we can talk this. Uh... So first thing it does is it swings at you with its claws. Does a 15 hit you? No, it does not. Okay. 16. So this thing. Okay, wait. What happened then? What happened then? So what happened then is I rolled for the for these things to hit Wolf, and they Can have you roll in the chat too or no? I'm rolling physically in person because I feel like that's better. <laughs> and you don't you okay. don't need to see my my dice rolls, because it breaks the okay, illusion. Cheating. Okay. Fair. And then what what did so you rolled what? So I rolled to attack Wolf. Yeah, and what did you I roll? rolled just for the sake of brevity. I rolled an eleven, and yeah. the ghouls have a plus four to attack with their claws. So I rolled a fifteen total, and which then, is and then not looks bigger. At his armor class. Yes, the wolf looks yes. at his armor class. His Got number it. is bigger than my number, so I don't hit. Why? How much armor has wolf got? I'm sixteen. What am I fifteen? I got seventeen. Think of it this way: Wolf is a very <laughs> agile boy. Wolf is a I'm very a more agile, agile I'm a boy. I'm a very agile boy. So. Yeah, you don't dodge hits. You you take hits. Yeah, barbarians take oh, hits. That's why I'm you have the most health. Cannon. No, you're not a glass oh, okay, cannon. I'm a glass cannon. You're the tank. You're the no. tank. You're the tank. I would say Wolf is the glass cannon. Yeah. I can't do anything. <laughs> not yet. Does it not take yet. a swing or just kind of arch backward? Like, not the robes. <laughs> so as that one as that one lunges forward then this one is going to lunge at Laura and it's going to attack as well with its claws that is definitely going to miss so this this, this ghoul kind of stumbles up and <laughs> kind of like trips over like this piece of the carpet that is like folded up and just almost slaps the wall, basically, instead of scratching it. So it just completely missed. And then this one is going to sprint oh, don't up... Don't the wallpaper. We need to make this place nice. The other one is going to sprint up towards Cheldrick and is also going to attack with its claws. Whoa, 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 fella, don't touch me. And... <laughs> that wasn't oh, no. that one. So <laughs> this one... <laughs> This one is it's this almost the same thing. It it's like just bounds across the room just and it trips over the mantle where it's like the stone is kind of extended out into the room. It like almost like the worst thing you've ever experienced where you bump your toe on the mantle and it it hurts like a mother. This thing just slams its feet into the mantle and just face plants onto the ground. Looks like I don't even need to do damage to it, you. Nope, guys. it completely missed. <laughs> And then, after all this time, Tobias, it is your turn. Everyone yep. out me way. In <laughs> fact, you can even leave the room. Tobias has this. Feel free to continue exploring the house. I will take all three of them out <laughs> with me massive greatsword. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so are you, gonna, are you going to attack one? Mate, I'm going to swing it around wildly and hopefully hit all three. All right. Mechanically, that's not how that works. But I'll let you imagine it. <laughs> oh, it doesn't does work like that? No, it doesn't work like that. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't give it a shot. <laughs> so roll, roll an attack roll. So I click on greatsword, do I? Or do I click on attack? Attack greatsword? Uh, attack. That one? Like that? Is that Ooh. right? Yes. <laughs> That... Why is it so bad? Why is it, why is it red? red? <laughs> Tobias, that why? Was a why is it red? Fail. It was a nat one. You rolled a nat one. <laughs> so you rolled a okay, one on the dice? This is fucking rigged. <laughs> this is rigged. <laughs> What's going you on? Have the worst luck. You have bad feet. You got bad greatsword. You should have used your teeth. We told you. 
True. <laughs> okay, so, so I rolled a one. Don't, okay. Yeah, so you you've now what? you you swing out your sword and you you try to like swing wide. You like you like do that. You like pull back your sword and swing wide, and you don't even get very far swinging. So the sword doesn't carry much momentum. It just kind of hits Laura on the back. No damage. It just kind of taps her lightly. Don't even get the swing out. Oh. Sorry, Laura. Out oh. me way. You blocked. You blocked my fucking damage. You ding dong. How <laughs> rude. All right, and then that. So that is the end of this turn of combat. Um, I think unless yeah, because you're a barbarian, you get a second attack as well. Oh, does he get a second attack? I think. Yeah. I think most martial. Yeah, classes don't I do. have that? Yeah. Don't I have that ability? Let's Where do I look? Be on the bottom right of your character sheet. Should it just say extra attack? Yeah, that is true. You do have an extra attack. So you can actually try to attack oh. again if you want. My bad. Yeah, beginning, beginning of the level, fifth level, you can, you, can, you can attack twice. Laura, make sure you duck this time. I'm going in for huge damage. Please crit. I actually want you to crit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's no <laughs> way! One again! How do I roll one again? Oh, shit. <laughs> Have we thought about just leaving him with the horse? Oh, my God. I don't even know how to process that. <laughs> so literally the same thing happens. The same thing. Laura ducks out of the way, but somehow <laughs> instead of like... Because before you were kind of swinging from over your head. Now you're swinging under... And it just it hits her on the butt this time. <laughs> oh. She ducked out of your way, but for some reason you swung <laughs> from below instead. Upwards. This is a very violent thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Tobias, oh, you wait, do... Oh, yeah. You Aphrodite's do... right. We're, we're halflings. Yeah, so you are... Yeah, you're right. So if you want... Mylan, you can, you can re-roll those. When you roll a nat one on an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw, you can re-roll the dice, and but you must use the new roll. Okay. So if you want, uh, you can re-roll uh, uh, both totally of those from nat here, ones. To be honest, uh, guys, I was only psyching you out. Uh, just warming up. Just warm up. Warm up DPS phase. Okay. Here goes my real swing. Aya. Or if you want. You can <laughs> 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 of that what <laughs> let's go to be less than 0.01 percent <laughs> oh sorry i had to tell my roommate <laughs> oh shit <laughs> okay no one of these just set me up this is not real. i didn't do anything i one swear <laughs> i don't know how to do what it what happens when you've Kicked in a door. Okay, okay, foot, okay. You, you can still swing. you can still re-roll that second attack. So go ahead and re-roll oh, it if Lord. you want. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Please don't just roll kidding. that one again. <laughs> just kidding. I was using my left hand because uh, I wanted to give him a chance. I'm gonna use my proper hand now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Let's All that go. warming up did Tobias good. Oh man, my head hurts. I'm laughing too hard. <laughs> okay, so the odds of rolling three nat ones in a row is 0.01 percent. Mylan, you basically wow. just got an exotic on the first drop. You, a kind of exotic, like a poopy, poop yeah, like covered exotic, fucking bombardiers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you definitely hit. So roll damage. Okay. So now I click on the great sword, don't I? You click on the the damage next to the great sword, yes. Where it says 2d6, I think. Oh, okay. What happens if you click or on the purple can, name? Or you, I think you can just click on the number chat, that you, you just rolled just in chat. Press the purple name, yeah. Yeah, the purple in the chat. Yeah, yeah. Nine. Nine. Nine slashing. So you deal yeah, nine yeah, yeah, damage. So which one are you attacking, by the way? Uh, the center one. This one in the center here? Is the one he can yeah. reach? <laughs> yeah. That makes sense like, to I'm me. Great. Yeah, the one he can reach. So... Mylan, 
you or Tobias, sorry. You this time you actually swing overhanded like just this like straight from over the top of your head and just yep. slam the no. great sword down on top of yep. um on top of the ghoul and it just splits the head wide open and it just crumbles to the ground. It is dead. Hiya! I told you I was warming up. <laughs> Disgusting but beautiful. So that one is gone. Oh, that one's dead. That one is Alien. dead. There are still two other ghouls here, and we are back at the top of initiative. So, Cheldrick. Cheldrick. Um, I'm going to attack with my short sword this time. Okay. See how the luck is in my short sword. So go ahead and roll. Short sword. 21. Oof, Very huge. nice. Huge. That definitely hits. That's not a nat 20, right? It would be green no. if it was a nat 20. It would be okay, green. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So that, What's no, that's a nat 20 mean. It just means you rolled a 20 on the <laughs> dice. If that's oh, rolled 20. a critical hit, if you roll a nat 20 to hit it, oh, um, it right. doubles Ooh. your damage. Oh, she. What, what, what's a nat stand for? Natural. Natural. Like an old natural uh... dot? Yeah, like you, you rolled a twenty steroid yeah. on the dice, without, and, so yeah, you can yeah. you can get a twenty without rolling a twenty. So you roll a twenty before, oh. like you totaled a twenty before. So that yeah. that could be called like a Bobby. dirty twenty, unnatural twenty. Uh, but if you a rolled a twenty on line. the dice, it would have been plus six, so twenty six. Oh, so that's why when I was rolling that one, I was literally rolling a one on the dice. You were rolling a one on correct. the dice. Yep. Copy that. That's why it's red. That's why it's red. <laughs> Uh, I roll for damage. Okay, you go ahead and roll for damage because you definitely hit. Seven. Seven. And I'm just hitting lucky nice. number seven. Because I'm also next to it. That is that sneak attack as well. Uh, I believe sneak attack is for when fl when you're flanking. I think it's just if someone's within. As long as you have an yeah. ally within. Oh, I get the range. I, I might be confusing with Pathfinder rules, which usually is the case. That is the case. So you do have sneak attack. Okay. So and to you... do that, I just press the sneak in the yeah, global yeah. damage modifier? Okay. 70. Oh, no. Oh, nope. wait. Holy crap. That holy is... crap. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd click the like the sneak skill, but wow, that's wow. <laughs> oh, 17 damage. Okay, so... Sheldrick's feeling sneaky. Sheldrick is feeling sneaky. So... <laughs> Sheldrick, you see Tobias just cleave this this ghoul nearly in half, and well, you don't like being shown off to, so you pull out your sword and you just start slicing them up. This them is, I'll show you how to chop them up, Tobias. And yeah, Did this this Woo. second ghoul just over and over again. You're just hitting it, just and it just falls over. Dead. It's dead. Hey, Tobias, this is how you one shot him. Mm, I could damage. learn Bing. Gone. <laughs> nothing from you. <laughs> so there is only one ghoul left, and it is Lauren's turn. Lauren, Laura. sorry. Can't read my uh, own right. <laughs> uh Guys, uh, I just want to say Laura's been in the way of all my attacks, so I think we need to prove that she can take on. You know, a goal by herself. So I think we should all leave the room, except for Laura. <laughs> oh God, Mylan's being that guy. Uh, well, I'm just gonna throw another produce flame at it. Okay, so go ahead and roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've decided. Chodrick has decided that uh, okay, I am um, leaving actually, this group. <laughs> that is a thirteen. <laughs> Yep. Okay. So, so you okay, use your no, lucky no, feed to no, re-roll no. that. Yep. Okay. So thirteen okay, hits. Good. So roll damage. Excellent. See, so it's like you're like producing this flame in your palm, and you're about to throw it, and then that like moment before where it ran up and slapped the wall at you, just like completely throws off your aim. So you kind of step back and throw it again. And you did fourteen damage. Yes. Ooh. She. Big, big, big you were damage. saying, Tobias? Mm. Uh, me hungry. 
<laughs> and that doesn't that doesn't catch them on fire, does it? It just does uh, the fire damage. No, I don't think it does. Okay. <laughs> okay, so then is that your whole turn or are you gonna move around or Yes. Okay. That is it. So then after Laura is Fulmar. Uh, very well. Just gonna kind of saunter up to it, and while it's just kind of crawling there, just gonna kick it in the ribs. All right, go ahead and roll. Uh, so that's that. So nineteen. That definitely hits. Okay. Eight damage. Nice. Eight damage. That is perfect. So you, you walk up and you see you see this thing just get absolutely incinerated. Like the, its front side is just charred, and you find this one weak spot, like right in the structure of its chest. And you just walk I up. I like and... to. Go ahead. I like to think that it's already already mostly dead, and I just kind of kick it to make sure. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So like it's it's like it's like hobbling there for a second, and you just kind of like stick your foot out and tap it, and it just falls over. <laughs> Ah, there we go. That wasn't so bad. Guys, I'm getting real hungry. Can we keep going? I need to look for food. Well, that's why I told you to bite them, Tobias. You could have mm. had a good Tell snack right there. Already? All, All right. me rations, yeah. They fell out of me pockets when I was kicking the doors in. <laughs> Alright, so you're no <laughs> longer everyone, in combat. Then so everyone you steps over. on. Um, quick question. Wild, yes. I? What what happens with like moving and stuff? Because I I obviously just like moved around, but I probably should not. Yeah, ask. out of turn, out of oh. turn, I get in trouble for that. God, I should kill you right now. And do you have to manually work out how far you can move? Yeah. So each one of these squares is five feet. If you five. want, on the left side of the screen, there's a ruler tool. A ruler tool. So you can click where you are oh, and yeah. drag oh, yeah. the line, and it'll tell you how far how far where you're trying to move is. If you right click, right. you can on also my turn. change directions. Yeah. So, could I have, like, can you pass three people? Yeah, if, as long as you don't end your turn on the same space as someone else, you can go right through them. Okay. Or if they're and not, they're... when you're trying to block you. Yeah. Like, if they're an enemy, you can't. Yeah. If they're an enemy, you can't okay. run through them. I mean, you can, it just uh. takes extra movement. Yeah, you would. Yeah, you would need to, like, try to get past them which is different right um and does it depend on like what weapon like how many blocks how its range like great sword does it have to be like in the adjacent square or yeah okay so weapons do have ranges to them most of them are like five feet around you so basically so if you look at Fulmar right now he's in the center of the room all yeah. those, all eight of the squares directly around him, he's technically threatening right now. So if an okay. enemy tries to leave any of those squares, that's that is what provokes an attack of opportunity. So he would get a, basically mm -hmm. a free swing at them. Okay. Um. I okay. Another quick question: do, When people actually do this, because I know we're just like learning, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Do people often like alternate between? being a like their own narrator and like role playing or they're just staying role playing like do you go oh tobias saw uh, uh couldn't help himself and saw a saw a fingy and thought you know what i'll take that for later snack uh yum that Chops is off the finger yeah that's totally up to the players like you can just play the character okay, however you oh, okay. Want. yeah if that's yeah. Some, if, if some groups do like all role play some people do like it's it's really whatever the player themselves want. Like if yeah, if you want right. to stay in character the whole time, you can. You can totally you can. do that. If you never want to touch, like to, like playing in character at all, you just want to say Tobias does this, Tobias does that. That's also perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, my, I want to scope my... the area for uh, shiny things to swipe. Uh, Tobias can't <laughs> think when hungry. Uh, to buy spots, a, a, a bludgeoned body on the floor of the goblins that just got killed and, uh, goes to chop off the finger and keep it for a snack. Okay, yeah, go right ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you roll another intelligence check, though, just 
just real quick. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I click on intelligence. Yep. Huge. 12. 12. 12. Huge. Okay. Great. Uh, so you know this is a zombie. Um, mm -hmm. They can infect people with like bodily mm -hmm. fluids. So eating one, probably not a good idea. Okay, I haven't ate it yet. I've just chopped off the finger. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you know that if you try to eat it, not going to be good. It's a snack for later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you know and you're making the. It's great. I love it. You're doing it anyway. So, uh, Teldrick, you said you were going to look around? Yeah, Teldrick likes shiny things. Okay. So Teldrick would like to look around to see if there's anything for swiping. Right, go right ahead, roll an investigation check. Investigation. 16. Great. Okay, so you actually notice there's there's nothing particularly shiny in here. It's mostly just like a... It's actually, especially considering what the sheriff said earlier, this is a relatively rustic room. Uh, the table is carved very nicely, but it's there's nothing like gilded and gold. There's no like jewelry hanging around. Um, but you do notice, as you're looking around on the table, you do notice a a piece of paper, and it looks like there's writing all over it. And it looks like a letter. You want Ooh. to read it. I would love to read the letter. Okay, great. So you see written on the letter, it says, Conrad, my friend, I can no longer bear this burden. I hope you remember the two of us discussing my little proposition the other night at the last party I held here in Lockheed. I'd like to take you up on the offer in a more official capacity. If you'd like to drop by the old place and have a chat, I'd very much like to discuss it. Afterwards, we can throw a bit of a party to celebrate the occasion. What do you say? Sincerely, Griffin. Griffin? Where does this Griffin live? Do we have an address? You are in his house. Oh, this is Griffin's house. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is his house. You are in his house. Listen, I'm not very smart. Tell, tell Drake only Where does sneaky. He live? No smart in the ground. He lives in, in oh, the ground, well. yes. Does his body have anything for snatching? You have seen Words you've actually the, you've actually seen letters. Griffin before. You've seen Griffin before because <laughs> he's thrown a lot of parties up here at the manor. None of these look like him. So none of these uh, were a, Griffin. In, so in Griffin. a fit of rage, Tobias, who can't read letters, swings the great sword at the table to crush both the table and the letter. Okay, roll damage. <laughs> so I'm not gonna make you roll a hit. Just roll damage. I want to try and that. stop him. Tra yeah, grab the letter Drake? before he. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, now I'll make you roll to hit. <laughs> so this will be. This will uh, okay. be. Mylan, you roll to hit, and whoever is grabbing the letter, roll side of hand. Okay, so I roll strength. Is that what I roll? Uh, I want to try and stop him from swinging. Oh no, great sword. Can we all go side of hand? I don't want to lose this letter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One of us is going to lose a hand instead. <laughs> Who, uh, okay, so I'm swinging the great sword, so I click on the great yeah. sword. Is yeah, you right? would click on the great sword to hit. So, okay. Coyote, you said you were going to try to stop Tobias directly? Yeah. Okay, so that would probably impose disadvantage on Tobias. So Tobias, disadvantage, and it's the same thing with advantage. Disadvantage means you roll twice and take the lower result. Lowest. Advantage okay, means so I roll you roll again. twice and take the higher result. Okay. Okay, so now The eight. same rolls. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, so... You got an eight to hit, and I think Fulmar, you rolled a thirteen to like swipe the litter away. Yeah. Okay. So Fulmar definitely manages to swipe the letter away before you like slam your sword into the table, and you, you kind of like lodge the sword in the table, which is not what you were expecting, but you managed to pry it out, but you do not hit that letter. Oh, thank goodness you saved the letter. I'd, I'd like to remind you that we are here to um. Tidy the place somewhat. Yes. Um... <laughs> Me, sorry. Emotion, big emotion. Wasn't taught how to handle emotions as a quarterling. 
We all have big emotions, Tobias. You gotta use them to hit things, not I'm sure letters. There'll be an outlet for your Thanks, emotions guys. in the future room. Perhaps there will it. be. I'm st <laughs> all right. Just so letting you know, I'm just not myself when I'm hangry. So moving on, you see there's a door to the north. Yes. Oh, are the chairs in here knocked over? The chairs in here are knocked over. Yeah, they're they're relatively they're I'm pretty roughed up. Some up of them are like scratched up. They're like the, the 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 stuffing in them has like kind of flared out. Probably gonna need yeah, new I'm chairs. I'm up and kind of try and stuff it in and set them at the table. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's pretty it's a pretty nice looking decor now. It's a lot better. It's still pretty dusty in here, but it's a, it's it doesn't look like something just rampaged through here, as long as you ignore the three corpses. And the massive ignore the blood. The and the massive dent on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the giant scratch mark on the wall. <laughs> and the corpse that the ghouls were eating when you came in. Is that Griffin? Uh, honestly, this thing's so mangled, you would never be able to tell. Unfortunate. Is it hobbit-sized, though? It is hobbit-sized. Okay. Mm. All right, so are you okay, all the ghouls? Guys, you guys, you want me to kick the door again? <laughs> How about we try just opening it this time? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, so you're just going to open the door? Yes. So, so you reach down, you know, turn the knob, and it just opens. Oh, easy. Mm, to so my eyes, <laughs> This is how you open doors. You now right. open up into a large Ooh. dining room. This room is taller than the rest of the building seems to be. It's, there's a large crystal chandelier hanging above the table on a sturdy chain from a vaulted ceiling. There's still this damp feeling in the air, but your lips ironically seem dry as you step inside. As soon as you enter, you catch the smell of rot and, and decay like Ooh. the room before it. It doesn't take long for you to find the source. The six chairs that are surrounding the dining table are each filled with a corpse. Oh. Uh, one of these? <laughs> Griffin? N none of these are Griffin. Griffin, is that you? Uh, the guy, this is what happens when you start dinner without us. I push over a corpse and take a seat at the table. Tobias, there actually are some... Some some fruits and, and some meat on the table. They are yeah, all rotten. I can't hold off any longer. They're, yum, yum, They're yum, all yum. rotten. He's dead. Are, are you eating the food? Yeah, I've already ate, I've already. <laughs> ate, I've already <laughs> okay, make a it's constitution awesome. saving <laughs> throw for me. So a what? Make a constitution saving throw. So above your skills, the saving throws. You'll see constitution. Okay, constitution. Got it. Oh, nat, nat, perfect, 20. nat twenty. Let's go. Oh. Yeah. So wow. like, you, you scarf down like these like rotten apples, rotten oranges. You don't even care to peel them. You just eat it. There's like a chicken. It's this. I'm not even gonna try to describe it. It's gross. And you just shove yeah. all of it down your mouth <laughs> and just. <sighs> you feel nothing. Ah. That's Except perfect. full. You, you guys feel really should have. You guys really should have had some of that food. I'm ready to fight. You know, at least he's good at eating disgusting, rotting food. I should feel revolted, but I'm actually rather impressed. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So there's no there's no threats in this room. There is a door to the north and a door to the south. Uh, that's the door to the south. Okay. Yes. Any shiny things? Other than There's silverware, no. There's a plant. This looks like a plant. That is just a plant. <laughs> is this chest? Oh. Nope. That is another large mantle. Yeah. Unlit. I'm gonna take a look at these people. Okay. Um, just kind of see if I can get any sort of idea of what happened here, like maybe how they died or what they're doing. Obviously, they were sitting at the table. Okay. Just... It's it has been a while. Uh, roll a medicine check. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. So, it, like I said, it, it's been a it's been a while. It's been at least a couple months. You think it's pretty hard to tell what happened. Yeah. Kind of lean in to start take a look, realize how disgusting it is, and back away. 
Uh, Tobias has idea. I've got this zombie finger in my pocket. What if we put a little bit of blood in the corpse's mouth? They come back to life and we can ask them what happens. Blood, blood in the corpse's mouth? Yeah. <laughs> well, are you going to try that? Yeah. All right. Give Nothing happens. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right, yeah. So there's not, there doesn't seem to be anything else in this room of any note. Uh, so there, like I said, there's the room to the north and the or the door to the north and the door to the south. I'm you gotta get south. away from the smell of rotting flesh. Yeah, we'll take the door in the north. Oh, uh, before we leave, I'm just gonna tidy up the chairs and stuff again. Go right ahead. Do you set the table too? You kind of fix the plates and the silverware. Yes, and is there a like a thing of flowers anywhere on the table? Uh, there's no. Doesn't seem to be any central centerpiece, but there is this. There is this plant. You can take this plant in the corner next to the next to the mantle. There's a plant here. Um, I'll just take one of the cups and set it in the middle, and set some of the wild flowers I picked in it. Okay, yeah. So you you create a pretty nice looking Ooh. centerpiece. <laughs> if you ignore, I mean, I the most of the, I the, the food just ignore the corpses. Still, ignore fine. the corpses and ignore that. There's like this this food scrap everywhere from where Tobias just scarfed everything down. It's pretty nice. Actually, uh, good idea, Laura. Help me drag the bodies. We'll put them with the other goblins in the other room. At least this room will look nice. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, no, no. We, okay. We are here to clear this place out, but um, Laura, my dear, this, this servant work is beneath you. Let us continue onwards. Okay. We're yeah, you can leave to that to Tobias. Up, so. You can leave it to Tobias. Tobias right, can do okay. the body moving. He's strong. He's burly. He knows how to do it. So are we are we going north or south? I think north. we're going north. Guys, let me go ahead because I'm the biggest you... damage dealer and have the most health. You're great at eating things. I prepare so... to stop Tobias mm -hmm. if the, he tries to kick the door again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> how are we getting through the door, Tobias? Are we opening it or are we forcing mm -hmm. it open? I look back with a guilty grin across my face. <laughs> I go to lift one leg and then I put it back down. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. And then I open the door. <laughs> reach into the knob. Oh, achievement unlocked. Character development. <laughs> All right. So you open up into. Let me see if I can. Yeah. So you open up into this large, just. Huge spanning great hall. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. This large, long hallway is approximately seven feet long. You seem to have emerged a little under halfway down the hallway, right across from another large fireplace. As the empty hearth catches your attention, you hear a faint wail to your left and notice a light seeming to fade in and out of existence. There's a will-o'-wisp hovering back and forth through the thick, damp air just between you and two doors on, on the far side of the hall. One more door sits half-opened off to your right. The will-o'-wisp doesn't seem to have noticed you. What's a will-o'-wisp? Will-o'-wisps are a like ghost. this ethereal a... light, kind of. It's, it's almost like a ghost, right. but not quite. Do we have any idea yeah. of, like, a will with dangerous? Are they friendly? Do we know anything about them? Make an arcana check, if you will. All of you can, if you want. Oh, okay. Cheldrick popping off! Ooh, Cheldrick! <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, Laura, was that your nat one? Yep. Okay. <laughs> so... Cheldrick and Tobias, the two of you are, well, Cheldrick, you've, you've kind of studied these things before. You've been around, you've, you know, entered a couple haunted houses in your days. Uh, Do you like entering haunted houses? You've seen Maybe these. You have some good stuff. You've seen a will-o'-wisp. They're dangerous. They, they are known to attack you if you get too close. Um, Tobias, you've wandered the, the, the woods you've wandered nature around long enough you've been to a swamp or two they sent they tend to congregate around there it's the same thing these things are dangerous they typically won't 
attack you unless they're provoked. Okay, uh, guys, I've handled these before, and this is exactly why I have the finger. I draw a pentagram on the floor <laughs> as an encaptivating device to to entrap the will o wisp. So, as wait, are you drawing it like around the will o wisp? Yeah, uh, like luring it into it. Like I'm taking the thingy that's got blood, and I'm drawing like a blood pentagram on the floor as like a, a like a magical trap. All right, I'm gonna say you get within ten feet of this thing. And it's yep. gonna start like shaking, and in, in the, the oh, light, yeah, the light glows a lot brighter than it was before. It does not like you getting close. Um, can I would like to s try and sneak past the wisp because okay. I'm sneaky, right. and try and check out the other side of the room past the wisp. All right, uh, roll a stealth check for me. Okay. Where is that? Oh, wait, I see it. I, see it. I, see it. I, see it. I got it. 28. 28. Okay. Let me... Am I sneaky enough? You might just be sneaky enough. Ooh. Let me... Let me see <laughs> if this thing sees you. Oh. Mm. Yeah, so you like kind of get low to the ground and you start sneaking around. Sneaking. And it it doesn't seem to start glowing brighter like it was with Tobias. See, so you Tobias can is why to you have to leave the sneaking to me. Teldrick, sneaky boy. Now this is a door on the left, right? Yeah, so both of these right here. Yeah. This is a door here, and this is also a door here. Oh, okay. Is uh, it, uh, would it be unwise to peek through the door on the left? I'd like to peek through and see if I can see anything on the left. So I'm you're listening. Like... I just gotta walk by for a sec. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so are you, like, gonna, like, open the door and peek through it, or are you, like, looking through the keyhole? Is there, yeah, is, I'd like to look through the keyhole. So, both of these doors are actually pretty boarded up. Um, oh. especially this one, uh, that's, that's further north. It's, it's not only yeah. boarded up, it's also, it looks like it's reinforced. So, so like, I'd, whereas, like, normal it. doors would, are just wooden doors, this one has, like, some, some iron banding on it as well. Okay. Um, so there's, there's no exposed keyhole on either one of these, but on this door here, there is like a, a note kind of nailed to one of the boards. Oh, I'd like to read the note. Okay. Um, the note says, don't dead open inside. Oh, so I shouldn't peek through the door. Chaljik thinks peeking through the door might be a bad idea. <laughs> Unless we can find a way to get the rest of the team. To the side. Yep. I don't know how y'all gonna get over here. Roll sneak and get attacked. <laughs> this glowy fellow doesn't seem that pleased with our, our presence. Perhaps we just leave it be? Oh, my bad. Yeah, and as y'all are like, as y'all are like, kind of doing all this, it's just kind of hovering back and forth. It doesn't seem oh. to be, like, going anywhere in particular. It's just kind of randomly moving around. Doesn't seem to be getting any closer to any of you. It's just kind of staying in its own little area. It would be good if someone on that side could check out the other door and see what's going on over there. Yeah, there is also there a door something over, over there? There is a door over here on the right side. It's a little propped open. Go and have a peek then. All right. So you, you're, you're just going over and opening the door. Uh, if it's propped open, I'll try and see what I can see through the the little crack first. Yeah. So it, it's it's pretty dark in here. Like even out here in the hallway, it's pretty dark. There's very little light here. Um. So through this door, you'll see. That's not what I want. Through the door, you'll see kind of like a little entryway here. You can't see too far into it, but you don't 
Roll a perception check for me. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so you, you don't hear anything. You don't see anything. It's quite dark in there. So we're either picking between the room that says do not enter because of the dead and the room that we can't tell what's in there. I'm going to take some time to light a torch just to try and see better. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, there's no no problem with that. You just light the torch. Uh, so I imagine you're just, are you like shining the torch in here? Yeah, just going to peek it through the crack. And see if anything takes us. So, yeah, so it. you can see, you can see like the first five feet of the room, just about. Mm -hmm. Um, you see, like what what start? What looks like it's probably a bathroom in there. Uh, but you don't see any like monsters or anything. You still don't hear anything. Um, it doesn't look like anything okay. is necessarily waking up because oh, it's of, fine, because then. you're there. Just gonna walk <laughs> straight in. Yeah. This is just a bathroom. Uh, the bathroom, it's probably. dark, it's empty, and it's very stinky. How very quaint. I'm just going to step back out. <laughs> well, it looks like you guys are joining me by that shiny thing. In the... yeah, so right now your options are that door over by Cheldrick, and the door that's to the south in the dining room. There's also a door all the way down at the entrance. Yeah, the first well. one. We there was also that first to. door on the left that y'all passed up, that's right. It might be a good idea to try those doors before we go in the do not enter, there's dead people, dangerous door. So I would have yeah. to try and sneak back past the... I mean, that, yes, it's you would. It's just telling us not to die, that we can go inside, <laughs> right? You want to go inside? It says, don't dead open inside. <laughs> you know... Yeah, well, just don't dead, and we can open inside. Don't dead, true. To break the door, would we need the power of Tobias's hobbit feet? Uh, it looks pretty well boarded. <laughs> so probably, <laughs> if you could even, um, if you could even kick it open, because it, it looks very boarded up. Because even then, because okay. you can reach the handle actually, and it's locked. So you would still have to break the door down itself and the boards. Do I have a lock pick? <laughs> uh, you should actually. You do have thieves tools. Oh yeah, I see thieves tools. Yeah, so if you are, you, do you want to try to pick the lock? Yeah, I want to try. Okay, all right. So that would be a uh thieves a uh, thieves tools check. So you would roll a d twenty and add your proficiency bonus. How do, how do I do all that? Can I just press thieves tools? You should just be able to press thieves tools. I think. Okay. If not, oh, it doesn't let me press. It. If not, I think you could just click proficiency where it says proficiency if you go bonus. Go to the left. Of uh, your stuff under tools. There should be thieves tools there. It says thieves tools. Oh, let me see. Because I see the thieves tools under item name. Yeah, they're so. Um, if you Just go to the, the left, left of that, of there. under passive oh, okay. wisdom perception. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll yeah, see yeah, thieves yeah. tools there. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Oh, but it says when I press it, it does a query attribute. And then click Dexterity. Dexterity. Oh, okay. Submit. Boom. 21. 21. Yeah, so you kind of, you start finagling with the lock, and, you know, it's it's a regular disc detainer lock. You, you've picked these before. The, the first disc, you know, you get a nice click out of the first disc. Uh, nice binding on the second. The third disc, something's binding there. The fourth disc gets a nice click. You go back to the second one. That's a click. Uh, you know, Leroy Master Lock really needs to start. Jenkins. Master Lock really needs to start updating these locks, but you get that lock open, no lock. problem. Easy peasy for Cheldrick, the Lock Master. Yeah, so uh, the door is open. Is the door still boarded? It is still boarded up. You still cannot go through it. Can I swing at okay, it? Okay, I literally have no idea. I've not been, my character has been looking at the, his satanic <laughs> drawing on the floor for the last five minutes, has not been listening, sees whatever's locked at the end, runs straight to the Will-O-Wisp and charging with sword above head. <laughs> okay, I right. so wait, so you... <laughs> I'm, 
Oh, all right, all right, hold on, hold on. It's locked there. To, to, oh, to smack open the door if you can make it over here, but I don't know if you're gonna make it over here. <laughs> okay, all right. So Tobias, I will, I will tell you. You see Cheldrick picking this lock, but sh- he, he's mm-hmm. picking it through like, a, like all these boarded up, like these boards that are stretched across the door. So, like, even once you get the door open, you still have all these boards that you're going to have to break through. Yeah, I'm a. I'm You'll strong. also be running straight through the Willow Wisp, which will probably attack yeah, you. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. I, that's why I have the pentagram there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Let me see. <laughs> this went. Sorry. So well. I, I had I had something delivered and it was an old old boy had like an army like a Anzac hat on and stuff and he was I had a bit of a chin wag so I was just chatting on. No, oh, okay. All right. Anyway, so uh, as you yes. run past it, as you run past it, um, the Will o' Wisp is going to get an attack of opportunity on you. Oh really? Yep. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> Oh no! So oh, no, no. as you as you like you you, you know you, you said you like grab your greatsword and you just start charging. Yep, yep. yep. So <laughs> amazingly, you guys see Tobias sprint past this willow wisp and it starts you know shaking again and glowing, and you see it like this electricity build up in it and it shoots out towards Tobias, and somehow this this little hobbit runs faster than that lightning and it zaps into the wall behind him and it misses. But I need everyone to roll initiative. Okay. Initiative. I've, where is where is that again? That is above. Oh, it's at health. the top. It's at the top. Up middle. Twenty three for Cheldrick. Why am I so slow? <laughs> Too beefy. Can't move fast. Too beefy. It's mostly just you're not rolling very high. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that's also the case. So, alright. So we got... Well, let me roll for the Will-O-Wisp. Oh, fun. It, it's okay, Mylon. I'm not rolling very high either. Yes. <laughs> Oh, there's a turn order thing now. Did that just come up? Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm going to use that. It's a lot easier. Yeah, cool. So we got Cheldrick. I'm going to nice do a good old... If I can remember how to do this. <laughs> Boom. Why are there two, are two Cheldrick buffins? Yeah. Wait, yeah, where is that? that? <laughs> oh, it's there. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Bastard. Cheldrick two has turns. a skill that makes two of Cheldrick. You know, that is a spell. You do not have it. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to tell you where the Will O' Wisp is in the turn order. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, so why am I second if I got six? It, it's just, it didn't order it by roll size. So if you click the thing, Skitty, you can change that. Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. Awesome. All right. So first in initiative would be Cheldrick. So Cheldrick, you just pick this lock and you hear Tobias behind you. Tobias Burrow! <laughs> you see him dodge this lightning bolt and the Will-O-Wisp is clearly pissed. What are you doing? Uh, I frantically grab my short bow uh-huh. and aim at the wisp to see if I can do any damage to it and prevent it from chasing after the bias and murdering us all. Alright, so you're firing a shot at it. Uh, yes. Go yes. ahead and roll to hit. Short bow. 13. That's a 13. Leave. Yeah. So you fire this arrow and it whizzes past Tobias and it it's weird. The, the, the Will-O-Wisp kind of it's already like a this ghostly form, but it kind of like almost because the arrow goes straight through it, but it almost like <laughs> creates a hole in its own body for the arrow to just whiz past it, oh. and it does not hit. Damn it! 
So can you still have movement and you still have a bonus action. <laughs> um, uh, I told. I, oh wait, can I say anything? No. Go, okay, no, go, go right ahead. ahead. Oh, because initiative. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Oh, wait. No, you talking isn't oh. necessarily in initiative order. You yeah. Can do that. <laughs> yeah, you can tell. Oh, okay. Uh, Cheldrick, I told you. I've encountered them in my swamp before. You have to cover your darts, your arrows in the blood of a zombie. Luckily, I have a zombie finger right here. Here, catch. Cheldrick grabs zombie finger. All right. I guess it's you have trying. one zombie finger. <laughs> uh, I would like to cover one of my arrows in the zombie blood. Okay, I'll let you do that. Okay. And then I'd like to try and shoot the wisp again. Do you have a second action? Do I? I have no idea. I know that uh, Fulmar and Bias do. I don't believe rogues do. I don't think rogues yeah. have two Because they have extra attack. Or they have um, sneak attack. Yeah, they have sneak attack, so you don't get two attacks. Can, can, I so can't you can move, that. or you can... You don't really need to bonus action disengage, because you're not near it. Yeah. Um, then... I guess I don't really need to do anything. It's not coming for me. <laughs> Tobias's body is in the way. We will use Tobias as a shield. You can you can choose to try to hide if you want. So maybe you can hit it next turn and get sneak attack damage. Okay, yeah, I want to do that. Yeah. Teldrick wants to hide and sneak attack. All right. Tobias is a pretty large guy. You could probably hide behind him. He is between <laughs> you and uh you and the Will O Wisp. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Be my shield, Tobias. I will hold Price finger. Anyways, I just gave me regardless. zombie finger. Yep. You you will get sneak attack regardless. That's right. I keep forgetting that. That's, that works differently in Pathfinder. That's what I usually play mm -hmm. on. <laughs> All right. So after Cheldrick, if that's the end of your turn, is Fulmar. Yep. Gonna go stroll up. Terribly sorry about this. And just kind of bring out a quarter staff and kind of just swing it almost like I'm swinging at a golf ball. All right, go ahead and roll the hit. Um, are you doing flanking or no flanking? I am doing flanking, so you would have advantage. Okay, cool. So, Watts and Mylan, when yeah. an enemy is... On either side. But yeah, when, it, when an ally is on either side, you're technically flanking, so to hit it, you would have advantage. So you just roll twice. Okay, that's, that's the number on the right-hand side, is that right? Uh... It would be whatever number's higher. Like 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 when you roll, it's on the yeah. right hand it'll side. Yeah, it would be the higher number. Okay. So yeah. if you're rolling normal, it just take the one on the left. If it's advantage, it would you would use both and whichever's higher. Oh, yeah. got it. Unless you're Wolf, who for some reason only rolls once. <laughs> and children. Yeah, some settings in the character sheet. There's a 19 hit. A 19 just hits. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, so you definitely hit it. Uh, it's hitting damage. a ghost. Ten damage. Ten? Well, that's pretty good. Very nice. Spin the stuff around, try to whack it again from the other side. Go right ahead. Nineteen again. Uh, that still hits. Okay. Nice. Very nice. So you did eight damage? Huge damage. Mm -hmm. Huge damage. And All right. Whacked it twice. This thing's a little angry, so just going to go into a defensive stance and use a bonus action and a key point to dodge. All right. Go right ahead. So that is, yeah, you 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 whack it a couple times, and you know it's it's this ethereal shape, but there's still something physical there that you can hit, and you just seem to hit it just in the right spot, and you just hear this as you like your your quarter staff hits it. And it just shakes back and forth as you hit it. And it's like shaking very violently. It looks roughed up, but it's also very mad. <laughs> well, it looks like it can hurt. I suppose it can die. Yep. Um, so up next is actually the Will-O-Wisp. So the first thing the Will-O-Wisp is going to do is vanish from sight. Oh. The Will-O-Wisp is uh, gone. You killed it! Well it done! <laughs> Woo! I told you me satanic circle would work. And the circle's back here. 
Well, here's yeah, the thing. The, the, the light fuse on it. it, it, it Fulmar, I, told, I, I, I said to you. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. 20? No problem. You feel, you feel something magical, like, tugging at you, so you know it's, it's, something is still there. It's still hovering around here somewhere. You just can't seem to see it. But you, you feel something tugging at you, and you just, it's like a chill on your back, but you just, like, shake it off. Can I feel, like, a direction, or do I just feel something? Uh, no, it, it feels like it's tugging from, like, honestly, from your very being. Not in any oh, okay. particular direction. Um, but after it's inside you. that, oh, it is going to suddenly appear behind you. And it's going to, you see that same energy build up in it, that electric energy. And it's going to try to shock you. With disadvantage. Why does it have to, you, with disadvantage? Because you're in a defensive stance, that's right. Yeah. That is Ooh. a 17 to hit. Oh, still hits. Yep. So you will be taking two D eight damage from that. Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> uh, that is fourteen damage. Jesus. Okay. Those are good DM sounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, so you take 14 damage, and that is the Will-O-Wisp's turn. After the Will-O-Wisp is Laura. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to stand here and toss a produced flame at it. All right, go ahead and roll to hit. 24 that definitely wow hits. big 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 and seven fire damage nice mm -hmm. so again you, you produce that flame in your hand and you just kind of since it's it's not super far from you but you like you just kind of like toss at it and it hits right in the core of the, this that ethereal mist and it just kind of bursts into flames and it's gone. I got it. Yes. You wow. Nice job. Uh, Come on, I'm, the... guys, I'm pretty sure that's because the fireball came past over me pentagon. So it was uh, kind of kind of me saving the day again, like usual. I almost that's corrected you and said it was a pentagram, but honestly that's in character. <laughs> Gonna slump against the wall. Ooh. Let's not do that again. Mm. Okay. Yeah, they, where's that door at? <laughs> It'll be right over here, good sir. Let me take a swing at this bad boy. Be my guest. What do I do? Uh, I won't make you roll to hit it. Just roll damage. The great sword. Yeah, yeah. Oh, huge damage. 20. 20 that's damage. Oh, no, that's, that's not a hit. Oh, wait, that's, that's not a hit. That's great that's story. Okay, yeah, yeah. Roll. Okay, 12, 12. damage. That's still 12. a lot of damage. That's pretty good. I mean, you're still chopping at 2x4s. So, yeah, so y you take a good swing at it. And the first 2x4 mm -hmm. just splits in half. And you, you get a good chunk out of the second one, but doesn't mm -hmm. go much farther. And there's a good, like, uh, dozen 2 by 4s in the store. <laughs> Laura, I don't know. I'm getting hungry again. And my tummy hurts. Can you use one of your fireballs on his door? Just bust it open. Uh, Please. I have something better. Back up. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Backing up. Okay. A, a, a little further. I'm going to say okay. the door, the door, right, is, the door is down here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> What? <laughs> Y'all gathered in the, the center. It's the bottom square. It's at the bottom square. Tobias okay. hit the wall, but he just hit it so hard that it shattered it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to use one of my wild shapes and Ooh. turn into a black bear. 
Oh. What? Oh. Turn into a goddamn black bear? How do you do that? <laughs> it's a thing that druids can do. Mm -hmm. Druids Ooh. can turn into animals. Druids can turn into animals. And then I'm going to try and just rip them off the door. All right, go right ahead. Just roll damage. Let me just. So, Mylan, you know how you have rage? Yep. So, Wild Shape is the druid equivalent of that. Basically. That's basically their, that's their super. Oh. All right. Honestly, if you're, if you're just going to keep whacking at this thing. I'm not going to make yeah. you keep rolling damage. Uh, yeah, so eventually it takes a hot minute, and it's very loud. Um, but you just start ripping off all these 2x4s. And before long, yeah, you got, them all, you got all of them off. Let's go! The door, the door you know, has Woo! been unlocked. So there is nothing impeding you from moving on. Uh, I just shrink you... back down to hobbit size. Whew, that was... That was tough work. So, so, so you're going out of wild shape. Yes. Okay. All right. So, are you moving on? We did all you. the work to open the right. door. Okay, guys, let me handle this. I'm going in. <laughs> okay. Can I just say shout out to Ethrad, by the way, for making uh... the dungeon look very pretty. Did Ethrad make this? Yeah, I, I used I used a generator to like lay out the dungeon, and then Ethrad made it look all fancy. Oh wow! Oh wow! Nice job. So you open up into oh. this large room. Whoa! Very fancy. Oh, oh, there's a bad guy down there. Guys, don't look at it. Let me let me get to that room here. Guys, this, get in quick. This large room is covered in checkered black and white tiles. It appears to be some sort of party room. There are tables lining the length of the room. They seem to have once been covered in party platters, candles, and plenty of other fun decorations. Those are all gone now. The room is covered in debris of all kinds, and a single figure stands slouched against the far southern wall. As you enter, its head turns in a limp fashion, its eyes glowing red, piercing the dark of the room all the way towards you. It lifts its hand, and you hear the door lock behind you. You're trapped okay. here right now. I they, know what we have to do. <laughs> this, this ethereal revenant calls out to you in a haunting tone. You smell of that betrayer. I would like you all to roll initiative. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Eleven. Oh, Damn, I'm lost again. I mean, it's above a ten at least. It's above a ten. Oh, I'm so <laughs> bad. <sighs> All right. Am and... I able to sneak attack? Uh. It knows you're there, so no. <laughs> Damn it, Tobias. This is your fault. I could have snuck in this room. <laughs> uh, in that case, I don't want to get close right away. Um, so I would like to use my short bow, see if it does anything. All right, hold on. Let me, let me roll initiative for this guy first. Put him in okay. the initiative order. All right. So let me boom, boom. No, no. Here we go. Oh, boom. Why is it zero? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all zero. Isn't that great? 
Screw it. You can I'll click on. Nope. You click on them and add them manually. Oh, that's what if. I'm doing. That's what I'm doing, though. I know you'd have to re-roll to make them pop up, but if you click on the numbers, we can change them ourselves. We oh. just add the things oh, okay. in. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I see what you're saying. How do I change it? I I'll, I can do it. Oh, you can so just the add one it. next to your name. Yeah. You should be able to click on and just type in. I don't know what's happening. Wait, why'd I go to that again? You got an 11, correct? There we go. Sheldrick, you got a 22. 22. Yay. Oh, uh, we're putting our initiatives? Yeah, yeah. I changed my mind of what I want to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Because I can, do I can first, dodge so roll, right? Can do I, can, I can dodge roll. Yeah, you can bonus action dodge. Uh, basically, that gives them disadvantage if they try to hit you. Okay, so I want I... to... I'm pretty sure. Rogue, sorry, I think rogues can't can't do dodge. They can just do dash or disengage. Let me double check. I oh think yeah, I just Disen at that. disengage is like a like a like a kind of dodge. Right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Dash, disengage, and hide. Okay. You do have uncanny dodge starting at fifth level when an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack. You can use your reaction to half the damage. Okay. Because I, I want to run at them with my dagger okay. and see if I can land a hit. Okay. All right. Yeah, so, so. You, can, you, can, you can make it right in front of them. Okay. That's about as far as you can get. So, like, here? Yeah. Okay. And you're going to hit him with the dagger? Yes. All right. Go right ahead. 25. 25, you said? Yes. That definitely hits. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Eight piercing damage. Eight damage. Eight. Make, I'm doing some cool rolls around the floor. <laughs> yeah, you do like the, Trying to get in close. Cool tuck and roll. You kind of like vault over the table. Yes. Yep. And I try and go for a spot that is bare in his armor. All right. Yeah, so this is like a ghost. He's he is he does kind of he's not wearing armor per se. He does he looks like a typical old hobbit, but he's very angry. And he's also a ghost. Oh, it's Griffin. Yes. <laughs> Boiler. No, I got close. So I I Yeah, you I, do you do you know you've been looking around all of the different corpses. This yeah, is I've been Griffin. inspecting all the corpses. Cheldrick got close and goes, Oh. That is Griffin. indeed Griffin. Yeah, so you you hit it, you do that eight damage, and yeah. it doesn't look like it does a whole lot. Uh oh. It it hits him for sure. You <laughs> deal some damage, but it doesn't look like it did all that much. Oh, so well. When do I get to dodge my ass out here? <laughs> well, you're about to find out because after you is him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lovely. The first thing it's going to do is hit you. No, 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 no. Yep. I'm a rogue. I'm afraid it is. I'm a rogue. I'm a, no, I be flipping. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to whack you. <laughs> so it's going to roll a hit. Okay. Okay, does an eight hit your armor? I have 17, baby. Yeah, it definitely misses with an at one. Um. So it just completely whiffs the first swing. But on the second swing. This man's cheating. Does a 26 hit your armor? Yeah, that, that hits me. Yeah, all right. Can, can I dodge now? You can use the dodge to half the damage if you want. Uh, Yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to use that to half the damage. All righty. So you're going to take... Chunk of damage. 2d6 damage. And I rolled it so hard, my dice blew out of my tray. <laughs> so you're going to take six damage, so you half it to three. Okay. 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 Three damage. That's not bad. Yep. Um, I should move this on my HP, right? Uh, Myself. yeah. You just basically type out, because max take your hit point three. maximum will always stay the same but in the big okay. box. You can change that. So I can change that, the hit point maximum to minus three. 
No, your hit point maximum is the same. Oh. The big one. Where's the, the, the big current hit points? Is the big number in the in the middle. I'm blind. Oh, oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, so track okay. 38, make it 35. 35. Okay. Okay, so that is its attack. Do we know anything about this guy when he was, you know, not a ghost that we could maybe use to our advantage? Uh, well, yeah, he he's a pretty he's a pretty uh prominent figure in the you know the area in Rutherglen. He he is the brother of the mayor, so okay. and and he he has been known to be very lavish. He throws a lot of parties. Uh, a lot of people have been over here. You've probably been over here before. He's he's a very eccentric guy, uh, but he's very friendly. Uh, typically very friendly. He's always had this kind of like air about him that everybody always everybody always really liked him. But um, mm. as far as anything you think you could like leverage against him, is that what you're asking? Yeah, if there's anything that we know that could potentially uh, make us able to do more damage to him or distract him with a finger, maybe. <laughs> I could throw the finger at it. Can I have can I have sixty seconds? I'll be back in sixty seconds. Go for it. Yeah, you're last. Anyway. Yeah, you're last in turn, anyways. <laughs> yeah, you, but I can't throw the finger. At. I could give the finger to someone else to try and throw at him if you want to. <laughs> I'll let you throw the finger at him as a. As let a, me throw the finger. Yeah, I'll let you okay. do it. I want to throw the finger. All right, it bounces off his head. Oh god! No damage. Tobias can eat that later. <laughs> All right, so as a, I don't think he gets any. He doesn't want to move, per se. Uh, that was actually its turn. That'll be it. That was not that was not that bad. No. I took three damage? Yeah, yeah three damage. I found that, out that he's uncanny a dodge. Ghoul. <laughs> the ghoul guy. Uh oh, we found so out who he is. After this guy is Fulmar. Fulmar. Uh, recognizing I've already forgotten the name, it begins with the G. Griffin. Griffin, that's it. Yeah. Is Gary. Recognizing this is I keep wanting to call it Chadwick. Gall, Griffin. actually. Gall. <laughs> Gary. Glenn? <laughs> uh, I can get that far. I'm gonna saunter up. It's like, oh, good heavens, Griffin. Um, I'm terribly sorry. It appears we've gotten off on the wrong foot. I don't suppose we can smooth this out at all. He looks at you. That just that that deep, piercing red in his eyes. And just says, "Betrayer, traitor." Does not look moved. Well, I tried. <laughs> gonna no, take thank you. Jumpy ma! Jumpy ma! <laughs> sort of do a faint. Oh, guys, sort of, maybe he wants to throw a, his own party. I go for a big swing mm. of one end and then spin it round and try and whack him with the other end. Go for it. Maybe if we put on some music? E. Oh. Yeah. I take it a 10 does not hit. Uh, a 10 does not hit. You are correct. All right. I'm going to come back around with the other side. 23. 23 definitely hits. All right. We're hitting him with eights until he falls over. <laughs> and you you a solid eight. As it thwacks him on the side of the head, it's going to kind of... I'm not sure how I'd describe it, but yeah. Uh, it's just going to thwack it a little bit harder, and there's this kind of little pulse that comes out as Stunning Strike. Oh, so, okay, you're sorry, you're using Stunning Strike. Yes. All right. I think it's a, pretty sure it's a con save. I think it is a con save. Make. What's the DC? Da, 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 da. So that is 2 plus 8 plus 2 plus 8. I believe that'd be a 13. All right, let me roll a con save. Uh, it rolls a 15, so it saves. Ooh, okay. All right. 
Is that your action? Uh, that's action, but bonus action, gonna tuck the staff behind one arm and send out, well, just two fists, basically. Oh, trying to punch a ghost. <laughs> okay. With flurry of blows. All right. Get out of here, ghost. Ooh. That's another 23. 23 definitely hits. Ooh. Another seven damage. Seven. And... Okay. You, golly, okay, yeah. You're hitting. <laughs> another six damage. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, all right. And from all of these attacks, because of open hand technique, going to be a bit dazed and can't take reactions anymore. No, no turn. reactions. Gonna final ten feet of movement to just kind of step away. <laughs> okay, are no you using feelings. any kind of bonus action, or are you gonna let him get an attack of opportunity? Uh, he's got no reactions, so he shouldn't be able. That's to right. That's right. He has no reaction. <laughs> <laughs> he cannot attack you. There's so many rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. It was like okay, I know how they, to press these... dagger. Do dagger. All these, like, bonus rules, are they just in Phaedrus and Traits? Is that what you're reading them from, or...? Uh, yes. That's what he's reading them it, from. Yeah, it all depends on, like, your class as well. Like, monks have a lot of different shit they can do. Yeah. Right. So, is it, but it, like, are you reading that? Are you knowing what you can do all from your, like, Phaedrus and Traits little section? Is that what...? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you've got bonus action in there and stuff like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so typically any of your abilities will say if they're a bonus action or an action. Because all players have a, a normal action, a movement action, and a bonus action in their turn. Your your normal action is uh. your attacks, your casting spells, movement is movement, and bonus actions are typically reserved for your your class features. Like, I think, Mylan, I think your rage... I think that's actually just a free action. I think you can just use that without using a bonus It depends action on the at all. subclass. I think it Rage does depend is on the a subclass. bonus action. It is. But you can also, if you have a weapon in each hand, you can use your offhand as a bonus action to attack with. That's true. So, so what if you have two you daggers? You could do one handed and then just punch <laughs> it with the other hand. Oh, right, and because we're level 5, we actually have more stuff. That's why it's, like, a bit yep. confusing, right? Yep. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, so he's, so he's dazed. He has no reaction. And, uh, Fulmar, you're just stepping away? Yep. Yeah, so you, you just unleash into this guy. You hit him a couple times with the quarter staff, just bonk, bonk, and then you just start punching the shit out of him. And he, he's, like, riddled a little bit. And it, it took it took some damage. But he's looking fine. No hard feeling. He just glares at you. <laughs> um, after Fulmar is Laura. Okay. I am going to look over at uh, at Tobias to say, "You ready for pony?" <laughs> Me ride pony. And I am going to turn into a warhorse. <laughs> oh my god. This room god. is pretty tall. So yes, you totally okay. do that. And then I'm just going to hop over here and uh, hold my action until Tobias gets on. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, well, then after, after Laura is Tobias. Okay. I activate my rage. Can I do that? You're going to berserk. I'm oh, berserking. Yeah, I'm going to rage. I'm going to berserk the horse fanny. Do not berserk the horse fanny, please. <laughs> I, Can we I roll saddle first? up. <laughs> saddle up onto Laura. Was Laura <laughs> I'm... Yes. <laughs> Okay. Hey, yo. <laughs> with, with blood and a curdling scream, we charge towards uh, whatever this boss ding dong's called, Gary. Okay. And uh, uh, as, as we're charging, la 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 la, uh, just before he obviously thinks I've got to pull out a weapon, I don't. I pull out a drums 
and okay. I start drumming, and the horse does those like uh, equestrian, like dance. Okay. <laughs> uh, what? Laura, are, are you are you doing? The, are you trotting? Um. I was just going to charge at him and run into him. Yeah, I, I would not. I would not say. I would not say Tobias has control over Laura. So <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say, oh, Laura, what is, what is Laura doing? Sorry. No, you're fine. Uh, oh, okay. Let me see how far that was. That was at least twenty feet. So I'm going to do that and then hit him with a hooves attack. Okay. And well, try to. All right. Which is. All right. So that is to hit. 23 to hit definitely hits. And then damage will be that. Seven damage? Yep. Right. And because it was a charge, he has to make a DC 14 strength save, or he's knocked prone. Got it. OK, let me roll that. A DC 14? Yes. Okay, that's a 10, so that's a fail. So, Laura charges forward, Tobias just screaming <laughs> with a drum out, and Laura the Warhorse just slams into this thing. And despite it being this, like, ethereal body, there's a very physical slam, and, it, like, it, he slaps against this, like, big chair at the end of the hall, kind of falls into it, but then falls out of it. So he's on the ground, and he's prone. That means any melee attacks are now at advantage. Tobias, time, to my shot? time to mount Gary. Uh, have I done anything yet? Or did, was my shot getting on the war horse? Uh, I would say, because you did rage... I would say your movement yeah. would have been getting on the horse, so you can use your standard to hit him, because you are next to him. Can I, um... Oh. I've had a change of heart oh, after oh, didn't I? seeing <laughs> how ineffective the war horse was. And we'd kind of be in the same and, spot. Yeah, you'd be in the same spot. And I've decided to use my drum kit and to just play a ballad to get everyone vibing. Okay. A bit like Capoeira. Okay. So you're using your standard to play your drums? Yes. <laughs> Make a performance check. Okay. Performance <laughs> check. That, that's in your skills. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> Violin! <laughs> this song sucks, Tobias! God damn! Oh man! Oh. Reroll. Don't forget yeah, reroll. Yeah, reroll. Yeah, reroll. Oh, hold oh, on. Hold on. So, uh, you technically, so you technically up. did roll, t roll twice. That's so funny. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Just warm up my, warm up my vocals. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> 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 Yeah, okay. All right. Honestly, mm. if you had kept that that one, it would have been a little worse. Um, yeah, so t Tobias just starts drumming away, and it sounds awful. You can't even, like, keep a beat or anything. There is, there is like, it's almost like you're trying to do uh, In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins, and you just can't. You're trying to do that solo, and, ah, oh, guys, the worst. Off. Yeah. Just okay. awful. Mm-hmm. Thanks for that advice. That's terrible. But you know what? Honestly, it's it, you botched it so badly. Everyone else is already is, you're kind of mad about it. Yeah, Not guys. Him, but uh, just I was I was intentionally aggravated. playing bad so you guys could feel my rage. Okay, I've I've so passively given you my barren rage. We have rage buff due to no. bad music. No, you're just a little more aggravated. <laughs> I do more damage because I'm aggravated. No. <laughs> so Tobias just pissed me off. Uh, kind of. <laughs> yeah, but guys, I'm in rage mode, so I can like I can I can tank now. So don't worry about it. Yeah, you do lose that rage if you don't attack anything or take damage for like two turns. 
Okay. By the end of your next turn, if you don't attack anything or take damage, you lose it. So what else can I do now? Do I'll, I I can have an extra attack? Can I use an you extra? You do have an now? extra attack. So you've okay. spent one one of your actions playing that drum, so you still have one attack. Yeah. And you, hold on, you haven't told me. Was it was it effective on the boss? <laughs> uh, he still he looks pretty mad, but he looked mad before. Okay. Okay. Uh, Tobias's mum always told me I was good at drum kits, and now I'm finding out right in the heat of battle that I can't play the drums. Okay, so I'm going in for a big old swing. All right, go for it. It will be with advantage because he's prone. Oh, he's on the floor? Yep. Okay. Okay, that's another nat one. That's okay. a 12. Well, okay. It's a 12. 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 Yeah. Oh, okay. I got the 12. And okay. the, the great thing is a 12 misses. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no. You don't hit him. Jesus. <laughs> that one doesn't count, chat. <laughs> it doesn't count. He's got advantage. Okay. Uh, and then... So if I look at my character sheet, uh, hold on a second. You used your Maybe, bonus action I'm still in rage. rage mode. Does my rage do anything? Uh, it would have. Let's see. Do you, you don't get advantage to hit with rage, do you? Uh, don't that's a so. separate thing. It's a separate thing. No, that would be reckless so. attack. That would be reckless attack. You're right. Which I don't think. Yeah. But yeah, that wouldn't have made a difference because you had advantage anyway. Yeah, you did have advantage anyway. Um. Just having a look. Uh, no. You gain a bonus to damage equal to your level. But the problem is you didn't hit him, so you're not doing damage. I'm naturally stealthy. Does that do anything? Nope. You're not at the moment with the drums. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not naturally stealthy with the drums. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I think uh uh what about frenzy? I can go into frenzy when I'm in a rage. If you do for the duration of your rage, you can make a single melee attack as a bonus action on each of your turns after this one. What and then I suffer ends. exhaustion. What does that mean? Okay, I'm not going to use exhaustion. It's dumb. Also, it wouldn't have any really no. effect consequences, yeah. Long term. Right, so um, does Frenzy let me do a, another attack then? It would on your next turn, okay. because you have to use a bonus action to use it, and you've already done that. Okay. Because that was Rage. That, yes. Yeah, you used your bonus action to, oh, to start okay. Rage. Okay, so you, it's like a double. So on your next oh, okay. turn, if you next want, you can, you can spend your bonus action to Frenzy and attack, and attack three times. Okay. Copy that. Alright, so Tobias does not hit. He's pissed everyone off with drums. But he looks good doing it. <laughs> so what was that? You look good doing it. I look good doing it, yeah. Yeah, and I'm still riding Laura, by the way. Yep, you're still riding Laura. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. Next, yes, we're back at the top of the edition order with a Cheldrick. Okay. Can I um, use my items and attach them together? Oh, uh, what are you thinking? I was thinking of attaching the string to the flask of oil and setting it on fire. Honestly, you could probably just throw the flask of oil at it. <laughs> okay, I honestly I'd like didn't to... know I had items. <laughs> I'd like to throw the flask of oil at him. All right, yeah, uh, roll a hit. So, so to do that, I would I say that's dexterity. dexterity. So just dexterity? roll dexterity. Okay. Uh, so I go up to boop, 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 dexterity. 25. 25, definitely. That is a saving throw. Also, yeah, that's oh. a saving throw. Sorry. So, that you would go to just click on the, the, the word dexterity in your ability scores. Far left. In the column. Oh, in the... Oh, blah, 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 blah. Can I press... Oh, I can press it. Yeah. That's, that's worse. Let's go with the other one. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> that's not how it works. <laughs> yeah, so the... the... Uh... Actually, no, it's a ranged attack. Is so he still you, prone? 
He is still prone because he hasn't he hasn't okay. he hasn't gotten up yet. So you would have Just... disadvantage on this, which you technically mm -hmm. did anyway because eight and a fourteen, so eight. That would be from misses. more than five feet. Is away. it more than five feet away? Yes. Then never mind. You don't have disadvantage. You still miss. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even matter. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh uh, well, it, it it hits the ground next to him. So maybe someone can set it on fire. If only I were a horse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's <laughs> okay. Can I then use hide to get away from him? Yeah, sure. You could probably hide behind that table behind you. Okay. Like here. Or that. Is that legal? That's okay. totally legal. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so that was your... I think that's all I that's can your, do. I think that's your turn, yeah. So after yeah. you is... The boss man. Griffin. So Griffin's gonna stand up with his movement action. So he's no longer prone. And he's gonna look at the horse who's directly in front of him. <laughs> and cast Vengeful Glare. Or I need you to make a Wisdom saving throw. I'm good at those. Whoa, huge. 22. 22. Yeah, so you definitely pass. You feel this, like, cold hand almost, like, reach into, like, your chest. And you almost feel it grab you. But... You, like the the natural like druid instinct in you has just just bites it off, so you do not get paralyzed. Um, hey. but then he's gonna attack you. <laughs> Does a twenty six hit your AC? Uh. No. I, oh, I don't man. know. <laughs> yes. 26? 26. Surely. Uh, you take nine damage. All right. Nine. Not me, Oars. Your Oars has taken nine damage. Not me, Oars. And well, it's used its movement. It doesn't really have a section. How long does that... Um, uh, days last? Uh, it's over now. It's until the start of the next turn. Okay, got it. Oh, uh, it doesn't have reactions anyway. <laughs> um, however, it does get to do this special little thing. So, you see him stand up and, and smack Laura the horse right in the face. Like, right on the snout. Ooh. And you see him kind of glow a little bit. The eyes flare up a little bit brighter red. He's looking marginally better than he was. Baby with his proper bright eye. And he's going to heal 10 points of damage. What in the hell? And that's he can't do that because of the oil is around him. No, nope, that's not how that works. <laughs> But after him, that's his turn. After him is Fulmar. Gonna... Did he just heal? Yes. He healed. Even though he's surrounded by oil, Malin. Can you believe that? Did he healed through my bad drum playing. <laughs> yep. Despite your bad drum playing and despite the oil, he is, has in fact healed 10 points of damage. Well. Okay. I'll do a little sort of... Step this way and then slip under the horse and round to this side. All right. Sick little to come slide. Up with the staff. <laughs> Whap. 17, 17 hits for sure. Okay. Eight damage. Doing good old eight damage constantly. I like it. It's consistent. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, just swing it around again. 24 hits. Second attack. 
24. And I think stunning strike on this one. Okay. What was that, DC 13? Yes. All right. Let me roll the seals of con save, right? Yep. Ooh, that is that is a 14. Ooh, damn Just it. Just barely makes it. So you did 8 damage and then 9 damage. Yep. All right. Is that and your turn? Just, just finish up with like a palm strike. Okay. Just do the one unarmed strike, which misses. Misses. Yep. Okay. So is that your turn? Uh, yeah. Probably not going to step away. Okay. Uh, then after Fulmar is Laura again in horse form. Um... I let me just measure this out real quick. Oh okay. god, am I still on you? Yes. Yep. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a quick lap around the tables here okay. and then run back and hit him with my hooves again to charge. Alright, go right ahead. <laughs> yeah, so we just kinda we and nineteen to hit. Nineteen hits for sure. Yes. Or eleven. Ooh, eleven. Eleven damage. Very nice. And is, is this another check to see if he not gets knocked prone? Yes. What is the DC again? Uh, four. Let me just double check. Yeah, 14. 14. Got Strength it. save. That definitely fails. Yeah, so once again, this it's the same thing has happened. He gets slammed into this like big chair at the end of the hallway and just falls to the floor. He's prone again. Prone again. Am I up? Unless Laura wants to do something else? Uh oh, yeah, well, the target's prone, I can make Stomp. another attack with my hooves and get yes. it as a bonus Stomp action. Stomp his head with your hooves. Stomp. Mm-hmm. Hoof stomp. Yep. 21 hits for sure. Cool. 13 damage. 13 damage. Huge. Actually, if he's prone, I would have advantage on that. Would you would I have not? advantage, so roll another d20. Just... Yeah, no. Okay. Just, 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 in case, just in case you roll a crit. Just in case, yep. All right. That 13 damage. Whew. It's big deeps. Big deeps. All right. Um, I would like to make a note. He's at a funny number in health. Oh. Nice. Okay. Whoa. 420. <laughs> nice. <right>. Yep. 420. <laughs> He's at 420 <laughs> health. Um, you guys have a long way to go. Uh, a, cu a couple of questions. Yes. Uh, well, first, a couple of comments. Um, I know... We're coming up to like well, midday here. Um, yes. And I know probably Watts won't be able to go much longer as well. And I'm probably getting close as well, just with the stream times. Are we, is this like final boss or are we like got is, a lot more to go? Is in fact final boss. It is. Okay. Yep. Cool. And do you think we could finish this in maybe 30 minutes or so? 30 minutes? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. What, so you're okay? Are you back still holding up? You're right? Yeah, 30 minutes should be fine. Yeah, I probably can't do more than that anyway because i got I got a lot of stuff to get to as well. Uh, okay. okay. Sounds good. Well, uh, guys, Tobias announces to the group, I'm not too sure why you're attacking Griffin. This is, this is Griffin, right? This is Griffin. Yeah. This is Griffin's house, right? Uh-huh. Okay, our instructions were to help Griffin. Your so instructions I'm were to clean out the house. <laughs> and that Griffin has been dead for I'm, multiple months. I'm. You're the I'm one drawing blood out. circles on the floor. I try. Shut up, everybody! Listen to me. <laughs> I know what we need to do. Okay. I'm pulling out the healer's kit, and rather than attacking Griffin, I'm going to help him, and that will remove the curse. 
So you're like pulling out a first aid kit with some gauze. Yes. And you're going to try yes. to heal him. You're, are you wrapping him yes. up? I'm not too sure what's in the healer's <laughs> kit. Yeah, it's, it's like Maybe gauze. Some like, it's probably some Neosporin. Okay, okay. No, you know what? Potion of healing. Give a bit of potion of healing. You're just going to like give it to him? Or you like throw it at throw him? Throw it at him. Yeah, yeah, I'll throw it at him. Like, hey, catch, here's some potion. Okay. <laughs> One said he's a real barbarian so... thinking like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very berserking of you. What do you want me, what do you want me to roll? <laughs> uh, roll, to, roll to hit. Just roll like a, roll a dex. Uh, just roll dex. Okay. I don't. Oh, roll dex. Okay. Yeah. What do I click on? Just, just straight dex. The word dex. Your body scores. Okay. Huge. Nineteen. Huge. That hits. Okay. Okay. So potion hits him. Yeah. Potion Hill, hits. Hilly him. potion yeah. hits him. So you yep. see, you you see the potion gets lobbed through the air. This like red liquid, you know, smashes right into the chest, like dead center. And you see all that red, huh? you know, just kind of splay out on him. Kind of stains his nice shirt. Yep. Uh, nothing happens. Oh, shame. He's not weak okay. and holy damage, Mylon. <laughs> That's not a holy damage. That's not holy damage. <laughs> he healing damage. Hey, there you go. Healing damage. Uh... There you go. All right, Mylon. You uh... do still have. Uh... You do still have. Um. Two actions. If you want to use your bonus action to frenzy, you can still attack twice. So I don't get the deal with the difference between uh, extra attack and frenzy because they seem like the same, but frenzy seems like extra you're attack. Be you're just given that for free. You don't have to spend anything for that. Frenzy, you have to spend a bonus action. So and you extra attack raging. is if you take the attack action. So if you go to hit something with your sword, you can hit it twice. Oh, frenzy oh. is. You can hit it twice, and then with your other hand, you can do something else, basically. Okay. That's what no, your I bonus action is. It's like three is swings. Like your, if, yeah. you, if, you choose to use your, if you choose to use your standard as an attack. Yes, then you get extra attack. It's not just like an extra and then action I can, floating there. And then I can use Frenzy as my bonus attack. Yes. yes. But wait, what are, what are the throwing the healing potion counters? Is that a You standard? haven't moved. I'll say you can use your mo movement for that. Movement for what? To throw the potion. Because, oh, it's for the potion. Because fuck it. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm now blind with rage because all my huge brain ideas didn't work, like playing the drums and using healing on the boss. So now I'm just going to start swinging. Go for it. Uh, me, me great sword. Great sword. I think Boom. he will have advantage, right? Because he's, uh, he's you get you get bonuses to your equal to your level on damage, but you don't think you get advantage on No no because because he's, he's prone. prone. He is prone, that's right. That's right. He's prone. You get advantage. Uh, it's twenty. Twenty then. Big old big old twenty. All right? Yeah, you hit. Yep. You hit for sure. So then I swing again. Like I mean I mean I do the damage on it. Yeah, go ahead and do damage. Eight. 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 Okay, and since you're yep. raging, you get a bonus to that damage equal to your level, which is five. Ooh, so you're dealing huge. 13 damage. Mm, big damage? Big damage. Um, and then can I do the, the extra attack? Yep, you can do extra attacks to swing, to swing again. So, so I swing it again? Yeah, yeah. Oh, 10. 10 does not hit. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm, a, I'm up on the horse. So I get double advantage. I'm on, like, I'm horse height. That is not. Nope. <laughs> not how that works. Damn. You can only get advantage or disadvantage once. If you get it from, like, two sources, uh, it doesn't stack. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really long sword, I guess. It is a really long <laughs> sword. Have you ever seen a great um, sword in real life? They're huge. Mm -hmm. And so then, can I use Frenzy now? Yeah, you can use as Frenzy as your bonus action to attack again if you want. Okay. Mm. I see what you get. You get movement, standard, and then bonus. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. 
So then I can uh, swing the sword again. Yeah, yeah. What the? Ah, oh, huge. Huge. Oh, 25. 25. Hit. Definitely hits. All the damage. Come on, okay. come on, Tobias. You can do it. Bang. Oh, Another eight. 13 damage. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's not bad. We're this working. guy's on the ground. You guys are whacking into him a good number of times at this point. He he's looking pretty rough. He's looking really roughed up. And then we're back at top okay. of initiative with Cheldrick. It's Cheldrick time. Um, Cheldrick is thinking that we'd like to try lighting the oil on fire. Oh, okay. I forgot about the oil. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'd like to move closer and throw a candle at the floor. Where okay, the oil is. I'd say the oil is like right here in this square. Okay. So I'm gonna move like here. Uh-huh. And then throw the candle. Yeah, sure. You just like you can just like roll it like a bowling ball almost. Okay, I'm gonna roll I'm not even gonna throw it. Yeah, let's roll. Yeah. And it yeah, it gets in that oil. It, there is now fire. <laughs> Fire, Burning everybody. the space next to the ghost. <laughs> so this fire, okay, next to him. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's Ooh, good. Fire. Is he feels ram him in. Like somewhere yeah, else. Yeah. Uh, yes, he is. I'm a thief. Okay, because I think I'm they have a... like a a special thing where they can like do stuff with items as a bonus action. That is true. I don't know what else I can do to him. What does a ball bearing do? <laughs> uh, you can throw them on the ground, and it makes it harder for him to move. Oh. Yeah, I, 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 I might as well do that. All right. I'm going to throw the ball bearing at him. Okay. Uh, you can have my drum kit if you want to add it to the fire. <laughs> <laughs> you just throw the drum into oh, the if, fire. If you, if you throw the drum to the fire, we'll spread the fire, and then it will hit Griffin. Fire That's would... Work. Would burn hotter. And wider. And, and Maybe. spread. Maybe. <laughs> might, might take spread. some time. Might take some time. What do you got? Oh, you know what? Make it a demon fire. Put that zombie finger in there. What? I did. I threw the finger at his head. Oh, you already got rid of the finger? Yeah, oh, the finger's bugger. currently but, on the ground. Where? Oh, where uh, on the ground? Uh, He's probably standing on it, honestly. He's Can gotten I up a couple times. He's, <laughs> he's probably standing on it. <laughs> Can I sprint in sneakily with my quick wits and fast movement and steal the finger? Uh, how many how many uh, feet of movement do you have? Oh, I don't know. My feet of movement. Um, my speed? Yeah. 25. 25? So you've moved 16. You moved 16 to get... Okay, thank you. 16 here. Now it says... Yeah. Whatever. 15. 15 feet. 15. I don't care. And then, <laughs> <laughs> listen, I'm not here for, I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. And then 10 that's feet, true. that's 25 feet to get there. You could not run back. Oh, that's dangerous. You can't Maybe end your turn on time. his space either. Okay, got it. Oh, man, I don't think I have anything else I could really, obviously I can attack him. What's in um, your items? You got any items? Check your pockets. I've got, I've got a quiver. I got some string, got a crowbar, a hammer. You do have a bow. Uh, I, d I do have, I mean, I could, yeah, I can shoot him with a bow. Shoot the bow oh, through the Wait, fire. could I attach the string to the arrow in the bow and then shoot it at the floor to spread the fire to him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kind of good. <laughs> Another thing I can I'll allow it. Okay. I'll allow it. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and this is what is called rule of cool. Yep, that's that is rule of cool right there. <laughs> oh, really? Like time it's just cool enough. It, it gets. Yep. It gets Honestly, worse. watch if you want. You can shoot him with the bow, but tie you know tie the string to the arrow. Shoot him with yeah, the bow yeah. through the fire, and then yep. the fire will travel up the string. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. 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 What do Let's we need do to that. roll on this bad boy? Uh, yeah, just roll, roll to hit him. <laughs> just roll to hit him. Okay, a hit. Is there a faster way to do that besides like scrolling up to the hit thing? You could type out slash roll. 
That's probably slower. Maybe it's fast. I don't know how you roll it. Maybe it's faster. What do you, what do, you just do? Trust it. Uh, it's a lot faster to just hit the buttons. Yeah, just hit the buttons. So I, I just hit like my dagger button. Just yeah. Hit. Okay. That's damage. That was that was damage. That's my bad. <laughs> I need to hit the dagger in here. Twenty one. Oh. Oh, the other one was a crit, but yeah, twenty one still hits. Yeah, wait, but isn't he still prone? Is he still prone? He is prone, oh, but cool. you're shooting him with a ranged weapon. Yeah, I am sure. You would have weapon. disadvantage because you're further than five feet away. Okay. So. But 21 oh. still hits. 21 does hit. Okay. <sighs> okay. Are we going to do dagger? Damage. It says nine plus four. I don't know what this means. Is, I don't know what it means. Oh, you don't do <laughs> Just tell the us it's the hit. The plus four is because of the crit. Ignore the plus four. Okay, okay ignore the plus four. That's what I was oh. thinking. Yep. So it's nine, but it's with an arrow with string that's sending fire. Yes. Yes. <laughs> got it. <laughs> what does that math have? He's <laughs> yeah, well, he's not that? on what fire yet. Now? The fire has got a catch, and then it will yes. spread. But he has taken nine damage. He's using an arrow would be a d6 not the dagger one yeah i think is it d4? Did, did you attack but, with the uh, dagger or a bow? Yeah. no it was with that arrow this is confusing it's do, confusing do you have one that fire. says long like short bow on your i sheet? have a short bow yeah yeah you, so use that one okay we'll do this okay. short bow 25 25 even hits. better even better six six Perfect. damage okay. nice. what's the string doing the string uh comes to a gentle rest in the fire Okay. It, it hasn't caught yet. Okay. But it probably but will. There's an arrow soon. in him and string in the fire. Yep. Got it. Okay. Um. After Cheldrick is Fulmar. Who is not here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he oh, went. Be right back. Oh wait, no. Oh no, there he is. Oh. Yeah, there he is. Wait, sorry. It's thought, your turn currently. For some reason, I, for some reason, I thought it was uh, Griffin's turn next. It is actually Griffin's turn. You're right. Griffin stands <laughs> up. Listen, I'm not smart. Okay. Griffin stands up, <laughs> and he's gonna punch the horse in the face. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That that hits. It's like, does a 25 hit your AC? Pretty sure that one. I'm just going to let you figure that out yep. for yourself. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. I just like hearing yes. Okay. So that is a toasty. Mm -hmm. Eight damage. And then another hit. Oh my God. That one's oh, a no. That one's one of those. That's one of them. Uh, Thirteens. Mm -hmm. Does a thirteen hit your AC? Uh, as a horse, yes. Oh, all right. Oh, Ooh. that's another eight damage. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, well, I am no longer a horse, and. <laughs> Tobias is just sitting on top of me on the floor. <laughs> this is when we go, oh! Yeehaw! So, sorry for touching you there. Tobias won't say that. He's like, give me! <laughs> yeah! And then I just kick with the ribs. Get back to being a horse. <laughs> it's, not, it's not fun anymore. Okay. Giddy up. That is uh, his whole turn. Right. I think, actually, he's going to try to move around here. He's not allowed to move! Yeah, he's going to move oh, no. up here, which would provoke an attack of opportunity. Why am I moving? I don't want to move the table. Get out of here. That would provoke an attack of opportunity from both... from from. Literally, Fulmar, Tobias, and Laura. As he's running kind of around you. As he runs away. Yeah, so all of you roll to hit. Okay. 
24 hits for sure. Uh, can I ask a quick question? Yes, you can. Where is his damage type? And he's a great sword. It's like 2d6. What, is the, what does that mean? Uh, plus 3 slashing. Okay, so it says it's 2d6 plus 3. So you would roll two six-sided dice and then add 3 to it. And that's oh. how much damage you do. Slashing is the type of damage. Copy that. Because some, some things are like resistant or immune to slashing damage. Right. That's just that just helps. Big old great sword. Yeah, big old big old great sword. So I think I know Fulmar definitely hits with a twenty four and does eleven damage, is that right? Uh, yep. Alright. Great. Um a fifteen hits 15? with the great sword. I think you would also Ooh. have advantage, Mylan. Ooh, twelve. No he doesn't. No he doesn't. Ooh. But twelve, 12? damage is huge. That is huge. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, Laura, uh, I am not because I don't have anything in my hands, and I'm just being sat on, so I'm, I'm not really doing much. Okay, fair. <laughs> He's looking very rough. Oh, we're close. I can feel it. We're close. Is the string still attached? The and string the, is, is still attached. Still lodged in? <laughs> uh, how long was the string that you uh, tied to this arrow? Long enough to reach the fire that's over there. <laughs> Yeah, if you could tell me how far that is without using the ruler, I'll I'll allow it. I, I don't know. Oh my god. The string was fifty foot. I saw it coming out of a pocket. <laughs> Officer, I saw I saw a string out of a pocket. It was at least fifty feet. And I'm good at counting. <laughs> there go. Something oh, tells me, trust I, me. Something tells me I don't About I just don't know. thirty feet. <laughs> All right, good. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All right. So yeah, no, the string is still in the fire. <laughs> Fantastic. Big string. This is why I bring my big string bag. All right. Uh, so after the revenant, so he moved away. He took a heaping ton of damage. It is Fulmar's turn. Okay. Gonna sort of, almost sort of following him up there. Spin around to this side. Come at him with the staff again. Go for it. 14? 14 to hit? Mm hmm. You know what? That that hits. Ooh. Ooh. Seven damage. Very nice. So much, so much health for this dude. Next hit, gonna spin around and go. Because, like, go swing upwards for a groin shot. Oh, Great. nice. 21 <laughs> hits. Nine damage. Oof. Very nice. Nice. How do you want to do and this? While he's... Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Please like describe how, you, the balls is how you kill this man in ghost form. Well, I think... I think, yeah. I think considering he's, like, a ghost, go for the groin hit. And it's just, it is a solid hit, and he just starts howling, and it is, it is enough pain that he decides to pass on from this world. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's, that's great. Absolutely. Yeah, I just, just, a, just a huge crack, and he's cracking more than one thing, that's for sure. And yeah, you just see, he just howls as you hit him. And this, like, glow in his eyes just fades. And, like, the this ethereal, like, almost dark purple mist of a body that it has just kind of, like, wisps into the air and just vanishes. He is gone. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, get out of here, ghost. Stupid ghost. Uh, Fulmar, what is your passive perception? Um, twelve. Twelve? Perfect. So, well, you notice that the string is catching fire very rapidly. Oh, God. Uh -oh. But you also notice as he falls, you see that, like, in his second hand, this, like, piece of paper floats down. And it's going to land on his body and probably catch fire. <laughs> No, because I'm fast. Catch it using We're all fast. deflect missiles, or is that a bit too? I mean, I was just gonna let you do a sleight of hand check, but honestly, uh, deflect missiles. I'm not even gonna make you 
do a sleight of hand check. Your ass can literally knock arrows out of the air. So we're doing that. <laughs> so yeah, so you 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 get you get this this piece of paper. Uh, and the piece of paper reads, "My own brother is trying to kill me." I found this note in the old North Wing before I sealed it off. My brother has been hiding all these necroman all this necromancy from me all these years. I could never have suspected it. I only wish I had noticed sooner before throwing this party. Now I have doomed us all. I'm so sorry. And there's like a second piece of paper kind of stuck to the side. It's written in a completely different handwriting and it says, Necromancy is a fragile art. If I'm ever going to control Griffin and keep him from giving away this family home, I'm going to have to make sure no one notices he's actually dead. I've got to make sure my catalyst is made right or the whole thing falls apart. Catalyst? Catalyst. Griffin's brother is the mayor, right? The one who sent us That here. is correct. A better story than Lifeful. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's the end or not, but I'm happy. <laughs> Let's get out. <laughs> Are we happy? Seems yeah, seems yeah. like uh, I'll, I'll be happy if you can get, get off me, Tobias. Shut <laughs> <laughs> up, Laura. Go back to being an horse. You're better. <laughs> I like you better as an horse. Now carry me out of this place. I'm hungry and tired. <laughs> um, right. I'm going to walk over and pick up the finger and give it to Tobias. I'll turn back into a horse and just like <laughs> lift up from underneath them. Great. I will say you cannot fit through the door. <laughs> so I'm gonna you're try probably gonna have just... to turn back to get out of here. Um. Oh. <laughs> you could turn into a pony. A, a pony could probably pony. fit. Yes. But uh, not a war pony. horse. And then just walk Tobias finally gets his pony. You can absolutely. Is it? Is it more to the? There is more. Is it more to the campaign? Or there, there is, is more. more to this to this manner. But I don't imagine we have time. I think we're probably gonna. Go. I think that's probably a nice uh, natural ending there with a bit of a cliffhanger. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, I so mean, y'all did, 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 did the big thing. Y'all did this big thing. Yeah. This was the main one. We were sent. We, we were sent in by the brother who was d practicing necromancy, right? That is correct. Yep. Man, that's yeah. so sad because he would kill that guy. And should I told you we should have trusted up the mayor right away? Barbarian brain figuring that out. I know, huge. No, I know. I've had some pretty big ideas in this campaign to be. Honest. I know. I wanted them all to work, no. but they just—they just not how it works. <laughs> I just set None the room on fire. I really wanted the ideas to work, Mylan. The drum <laughs> was so oh, funny. I really that that one. I was gonna have you destroy your own drum, but I forgot that you could re-roll them. <laughs> Wait, so why? I mean, come on, he's a good guy. Why didn't he heal he potion a work on him? Because healing, because like revenants, revenants, which are the type of ghost he was, are immune to potion effects. Oh, oh my god, I, I, had to, I had to, I had to Google it in a spur of the moment frenzy <laughs> to figure that out. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, does this hurt? Really? <laughs> Wait, so if he wasn't immune to potions, like we would have maybe would have told us what was going on. Uh typically undead are actually harmed by healing effects, so it would have hurt him. But yeah. he's immune to potion effects, so it didn't do uh, anything. He would have done big damage. He would have just taken more damage. Would fire have done anything? Would fire yes. If the fire had reached him, it would have set him on fire and did some damage. Man. And it would it probably would have done a D6 right. of damage every round. Oh. There's a lot of hey, rules man. here that you just need to be able to know as a dungeon master. Yeah, luckily the dungeon master oh, yeah. carries all the all the rules, mostly. So I think with that Dungeons and Destiny, they've already made up their own like rule book, right? Yeah, they made their own rule book. Like, it's a lot more complicated than this, but very much like so. I really? like I was saying when we really? were setting this up, you can straight up ignore half those rules and just make it as simple as you want. Honestly, yeah. Like the okay. good thing, the good think, thing about I think the the fun really is just like, I mean, yeah, it's all just the rolling and like uh, whatever you want to do as you enter a room and having like a the background story there and then having some other mechanics. Yeah, that's 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 the fun mm -hmm. to me too. Like 
good thing is, like, I think I mentioned most D&D systems will straight up tell you the dungeon master makes calls all the shots. Doesn't matter what the rules actually say. Whatever the dungeon yeah. master says goes. So if the yeah. dungeon master yeah. says, we're not going to use any of these systems, you're not going to use those systems. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, there's definitely like some fun stuff I see here that would be uh, possible to do. It is is a lot of work to do something like this regularly, that's for sure. Because just writing the campaigns mm -hmm. a fair bit. Did you write all of that or do you steal it from somewhere? I made all of this by hand. Oh my god. I wrote, no wonder you're I wrote like, a yes, description. I'm not <laughs> I wrote a description for every single room. I oh my placed objects in the rooms. I placed all the enemies. I had to make sure that there weren't too many enemies in each room that y'all would just get overwhelmed. I had to yeah, kind of warm y'all into it. And everything is a lot. Yeah. Yeah, there's, yeah this is really good oof. for like first time knowing the very basics because obviously there's a lot that it's like i don't really know fully what i can do every turn right but this was really good to yeah get to know how it generally works yeah well, i'm glad y'all had fun that was it was fun for me that was good that was it was i had a ton of fun yeah 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 i, think... I definitely feel like if I, I definitely feel like i could like watch a video now or like watch more explanation of how dandy works like actually understand it just by having played it a little bit and yeah uh, yeah, for sure. Know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, and also, I think I probably could look at the Dungeons & Destiny like little rule book and maybe understand that a little bit better and, and say, you know what, maybe I should contact them and ask them to fucking do a game with Dungeons & Destiny. Then I'll have one. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah, see what happens. Do it. I will say there are 14 mm -hmm. more rooms in this dungeon y'all did not go to. Oh, my God. What? Well, we need to come back and wait, do the so rooms. Wait, wait. We did the whole destiny thing. We went straight to the end boss. Y'all went straight to the boss. <laughs> really? Yep. Strike speed running. Don't dead open inside was hey. kind of a warning. Did did we? Miss well, we didn't any, die like, and we opened it inside. You didn't die no. and you did open and go inside. So <laughs> did, honestly, did we finish? Uh, G GGs. Did, any secrets? Any um, secrets? Like. There is one missed? secret, one big secret. Y'all did not find. Uh, there was a couple of more clues. To before you got here that would have like kind of unveiled a bit of the mystery of how his brother turned all these people oh. into zombies. Um, I had to spam investigation. Yeah, there would have been a lot of there would have been a lot of papers to read. Um, there is one treasure room that y'all could have found. There was a room full of golden cheese. Um, you did not damn. find the room Ooh, of golden geez. cheese. Damn, it's a bunch of stuff. Well, and that was really fun. I, uh, I had a appreciate good the first, yeah, I had a yeah, good time. Thank you guys for uh, dealing with us not that knowing what the hell is happening. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Skittles, for doing a lot of work to uh, yeah. oh, you're put that together. Is that me riding a horse? That is, in fact, <laughs> that's you riding Laura riding through Florida. the door. That, yep, yep. <laughs> and I'm gonna try and make you bonk your head on every single door frame. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, that's fun. Uh, thank you, yeah, thanks, Wolf everyone. and Coyote, for helping as well. Mm -hmm. Thanks for playing along. Yeah, y'all, y'all, uh, y'all, y'all, y'all were a lot of help, honestly. Mm, the fact that y'all yeah, picked that the more fun. complicated classes was actually mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. Me being barbarian, that was fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's very um, straightforward. Do very fun. Honestly, Milan, we do a you double... did really great. I didn't yeah. expect you to roleplay that hard, but you did. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It was great. I, I, For I felt, a first game, like you were in character the whole time. I was legitimately impressed. Yeah, I, I think the difference like uh, between my, myself and the character was not, not huge. So <laughs> sort of... It's easy when you put yourself into them. It's easy when you when wasn't you, really needing no to role play. play. <laughs> Self insert. Zane, wait, wait he was your character. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um.